Oh shit, the dragon wakes. Have to be asleep to wake up, bud. Ding dong, you're wrong. Uh, someone's saying... It's gone now? Someone says something, what time is it? What... What of day it is for Joe when he's streaming? Evening? Uh, afternoon. It is 1.16 p.m. I just sneezed three times before starting, and now I feel like my nose is, is blocked up. One second. One second. You know what? Let's get the main menu up, and then I'll... I don't want to blow my nose on stream. Someone would like that. Okay, there we go. I think it's uh I think it's moving. Alright, be right back one second, go below my nose. better now. Over the past year or so, I have um, conditioned myself to move over from about, I don't know, 70% nasal breathing over to like, I would say I'm, I'm above 90% nasal breathing now. The only time I ever breathe through my mouth now is when I am um, uh, exercising and I, and I feel like I can't maintain it. So it's if anyone else is, is interested on, on on getting into that, it took about a year for for me to not have to consciously remind myself to do it now. Is that good or bad? Is that is that fast? I don't know. My nose don't work. I find that before I started doing this, I would get more congested in my nose, and it was really annoying. Happy Daylight Saving Time Shift Day, is it? No. For us, it's Sunday. Saturday. November 4th or November 5th. Okay. You think that would just be uh, unified, huh? It's the uh, most dangerous day of the year in Canada today. For well, every the most dangerous day of the year is different for every part of Canada. Um, today in Moncton, it's right now. It is the first major snowfall. Good luck. It is snowing like a motherfucker outside right now. You would think that living in Canada, that they would understand that we go through this every year, but nope. Apparently, people just go ape shit every single year on first snowfall. Why is it bad? Because of driving. Do you have trees, plants in your yard? Does grass count? We have a couple trees, yeah. 
if you're combining uh, backyard and front yard. Grew up in East Canada, I know all about the weather swings, but were you commenting about the heat last week? Yeah, last week, I uh, even think a couple days ago, not even last week, a couple days ago, it was, um, it was 25 degrees Celsius, and yesterday, it, it dipped down to 1 degree Celsius, and today it's snowing, so that happens a lot. Should we get rid of day daylight savings time? I don't know why we have it, so I don't want to say yes or no when I don't know why it's there to begin with. Remember to check the crosshair dot setting and options. Now that I know to um, hit them in the chest, you know, after I've done some critical thinking, uh, I think that we'll be fine. If I need to turn on, I'll turn on. We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. How are you doing this fine day? I'm doing all right. I'm not sleeping. I'm tired of saying I'm not sleeping, and you must all be tired of hearing it, but it's true. I'm just not sleeping. We did um, pumpkin carving yesterday, and that was fun. Who's the last person I said thank you to on last stream? Zardak, Arana Deterno. That sounds familiar. Um, thank you to Edenel, two five zero one. I still feel like I'm a little congested. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, I am a little bit. God damn it! Sneezing just activates all of my mucus. Whatever, the faucet gets turned on. Shit. God damn it! Uh, thank you, Ed. Adenel2501 for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Tundra Vol for the resub. Thank you, Tixo Brum for the new sub as well. Thank you, Lazav for the new sub. Welcome, welcome to both of you. Thank you, Pyreate for the resub. Still, he's a torchbearer and it can be more clear or much clearer. Thank you, Pyreate for the resub. It's pretty fun. We're going back right to it right now. Thank you, None to Spare for the resub as well. Zero Alt for the bits. And Tim and Space also for the resub. After one year of watching you, I finally feel I get most of the inside jokes. That's all it takes, huh? Just a year? Man, a watermelon. Alright, continue. Yes, uh, last time? Or am I misremembering that? Sorry, I was looking for the red mark. Someone, uh, bunny, oh, a bunny boots, fellow narcoleptic in the chat, talking about Zyrem. Yeah, I'd like, I'd love to try Zyrem, but um, just can't get it together right yet, right now. Also, a little scared of it, but that's not the biggest reason. Oh, 
Yeah, where are the red, the red parts? Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, shift F3, isn't it? Why do I have to do that every time? I don't understand the torch. Why didn't that... Because it hit his back? It has to be the front of his chest? What happened there? Oh shit, wrong go Stupid gun! Alright, let's heal. Wow, I, I th I've died here like 25 times. I want to get through it. I want to hear the end of the song. the game chat I'm sorry you didn't shine a light of the guy yeah but he, he got hit by a flare gun didn't he Are they all different? Do they all have a different spot you're supposed to shine on? Center mash. I'm doing that and sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, do we have any more healing? We don't. Hard to see where it's located. Okay. Let's just assume that I'm fucking it up. Because I probably am.
Yay! Can you kill these? That elephant is shredding. We did it! We got here! That was hard. I guess if you just use the flare gun, it's a lot easier. I wonder if there are enough flares to hit them uh, a flare gun on every single one. That was interesting. That was rad. I enjoyed that. I somehow feel like it's not over. Do you like this so far? Because I'm loving all this. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. The gameplay is serviceable enough that it's not getting in the way, although I, I do have a little bit of uh, hmm feelings after that segment we just did, but right now I'm, I'm just going to err on the side of I'm not understanding something about the combat. Um, but apart from that, everything else is, is pretty fucking great. A vision. <laughs> Such a dark place and I trapped in here. Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript, it held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again and again until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. Musical. Wait, can, can we add musical to all, all the parts now? The final chorus brings the song to its climactic end. He's just having so much fun, isn't he? Alright, is that what I'm supposed to do, or what? Get it now. And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. <laughs> oh, he's here, and he likes the song. Yeah. So the game is simultaneously pulling off the wacky, fun parts better, and it even feels better integrated to the game, at the same time doing way better with the tense, scary parts, too. Exploration in that subway section was, was pretty fun as well. Like, the only thing the only thing right now that's leaning toward bad for me in this game is, is the combat. It's, that's it. The rest is either, like, you know, good. 
okay good or, or, or really good. Writing's the best part for me. I really like the really like the writing. A couple steps up from uh, most things in the industry, I think. I should watch Legion. Didn't Legion get cancelled? Did it get a good ending? Oh, we can't talk to Ati? Hey Ati, how's it going? Champion of flight. Are you Catchy, right? <laughs> Are you mopping a carpet? Okay. Oh, that Game has a has a strong sense of um, of authorship, has a strong sense in the same way that Inscription did. Remember at the end of Inscription, I was surprised that it that wasn't made by one person, and it wasn't because because um, of the quality of the game. It was because of how focused and direct it was in its ideas. It it, it felt like there's there's stuff in Inscription. I won't spoil Inscription, but there's there's a section in Inscription. Oh, we're still here. There's a section in Inscription that that feels like wouldn't be made unless there was someone there who had full control of the project going no fuck you we're doing this and i'm willing to to kill myself to get it done you know what i mean kill myself by working so much um and obviously this game is isn't like that in terms of in terms of um how highly focused one person couldn't make all this all this stuff so i'm not surprised but it really feels like there's there's a strong sense of authorship like some, someone directing it being like like no you know what we are gonna have this chapter cut as you like walk through this unassuming door instead of there being like a, a big story moment or whatever no have have this little wind down moment after the big musical number where the janitor is humming the song and alan wake is kind of like riding on a little high and then all of a sudden you walk through a door and it's like boom boom chapter and you know like, just little things like that maybe i'm not articulate articulate it well, but I, I feel the direction for lack of a better for lack of a better explanation. You know what I mean? Like, and it's and it's unusual in games. All right, we're back here now. Okay, so I want to I want to go back to. I want to play a chapter of Saga. Excuse me. Humming the song now? I'm Seriously. I'm the only one who understands the forces behind this. I can help you. No, 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 that's not how this works. You're a civilian, and we don't do ride-alongs. And if Scratch is after you, then so is the cult. We don't know who we can trust here. Damn it, you are making a mistake. Mm-hmm. I'll be sure to add that to the list. This is a different coat, or is FBI gone? I have this shirt. Do, 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 do. I only now realize that Torchbearer refers to a flashlight, not a little burning stick. I mean, it still might be Torchbearer, and that's being translated into... Like from from a more fantasy sense, fantastical sense, to just a flashlight. But uh, torch is the word that some people use for flashlight. 
uh, in Britain especially, uh, where's the torch would mean the flashlight. You're Rachel Amber. I'm Rachel Amber? By the way, apparently you say the princess devs are super cool with streams. They have a channel on Discord and everything. Oh, are they? Okay, that makes me feel better about that. Maybe we'll do it. Alright, so what was what we were doing with Saga? We're going to drive out to Watery. Watery, right? Hi, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Can I have a drink? Okay. Pat's favorite deer fest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. Todd? So who's in for a bet this year? That is a big sponge. A hundred bucks says there will be at least one fender bender between the bloats. For that amount of money, you, you'll cause it yourself. Yeah, I'm not taking that wager. Too many opportunities for interference. Hello, and welcome to <gasps> Coffee World, yes! Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages. Just like our coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! <sighs> Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park. <laughs> Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not amusing. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. A slow roaster? I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful finish? gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. Jaw. Jawa? Why 9%? This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. Uh oh, what's wrong with it? It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Unplug yes, it. Sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Hey, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. What? Of course, sir. Okay, you know what? At the beginning of this, I was on his side. You're the asshole. But now, not the asshole. You're the asshole. Just unplug Is the there TV. Anything else I can help you with, sir? Would you like a complimentary dinner tonight? That almost makes up for the ineptitude of this place. I'm glad to hear it. Your back with Pat Maine, and we've got a very special guest today on the program. It's artisan cuckoo clock designer Terry Feldman. Terry, how are we today? What? Hey there, Pat, you're in just fine. I'm a super big fan of the show. What a treat to be on with you today. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Terry. <laughs> now, I hear you're doing something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom basewood cuckoo clocks, but the real special sauce is when it's cuckoo time and you're expecting a bird to pop out for a chirp. <laughs> out comes a big old deer. Well, that's just neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Real neat. That's neat. That's going to have the tourists tickled pink. And I hear you're selling these at the Sunday market. So make sure to say hello to Wendy Davis from our sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky, while you're there. All right? Terry, you, you, you still there? Yeah, yeah, still here. I'm just... Jeez, Pat, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. I, I, I thought 
body of her, Wendy's dead. Oh boy. That's that's a strange joke you're playing there, Terry. Uh oh. Uh, I'm sorry, Pat. You you know all that FBI business. Wendy was one of those bodies they found. Well, that's just not possible, Terry. Wendy stopped by this morning with three flavors of beef jerky. She brought me the, uh, the, the smoked hickory and the teriyaki and, and then, what was that other one? I'm, I'm real sorry, Pat. What was that other one? She was just talking about this just hours ago. Smoked hickory, teriyaki, and... Hickory teriyaki! Thanks, Tapio! It's, it's just a bit of a strange joke, Terry. Oh. The Yako and Elmo put you up to this. Pat. Well, somebody's having a laugh over this little prank, I'm sure. Terry, thank you so much for your time. Can't wait to see those deer fest cuckoos at the market. Wendy will be there with her beef jerky as always, and, and we'll be back after this. All right, so as Pat... Is Pat lost it a little bit, or is he seeing a ghost, or timeline shenanigans, or what? Hmm. I still want to know what 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 is Rose's deal. It's the most interesting thing. Did we get into this one last time? N yeah, we could. I remember this one. It won't open. Uh oh. Tammy didn't want me to come, I can tell. Not like the trip is even helping. I thought getting out of the city would inspire me, but Tammy, but, but Tammy Falls? Bright Falls is just a bunch of trees and empty storefronts. I need to find something. I'm tired of writing one-act plays about how shitty the world is. Tweets? I thought scathing social commentary would make me fell like a real artist, but I don't know. It's not me. I want to write something weird, something really out there, something authentic, but what? Fuck this town. I don't even want to get into what happened last night. It's weird, though. Sitting here in the hotel room, some pieces are starting to fall together. Idea for a new play. A space cult burning down the galaxy in some misguided search for TBD. A lone man, an artist, wandering the stars until his destiny... Put, puts him straight in the cult's path. A black cast, a musical, a rock uh, opera. All, all, all black cast. Sorry, I read, I read that wrong. Is Fell wrong in the note? No, it's not. Uh, made me feel like a real artist. Okay, so it's just wrong in the... in the. Um, uh, I don't know what that would be called on the right. It's not subtitle, is it? Transcription? Maybe it'd be transcription, yeah. Oh, we found a page. Okay. Tammy tapped her pen on her notebook. Alan Wake had ridden this same ferry into town when he arrived. This was his entry into Bright Falls. His first steps across the threshold. She wrote that down. She always found it helpful to walk in the victim's shoes, do what they did, see what they saw. It added great color to the book. Tammy felt raindrops on her face. God, again? She pulled up her hood. The rain just kept coming. She missed New York. So far, this hadn't been the simple research trip she pictured. First the incident at the lake, then the fight with Ed. It's not surprising tempers got hot. They were both on edge after what had happened. Tammy had said some things. Things she regretted. She looked out over the harbor. A chill passed through her. She hoped Ed wouldn't do anything stupid. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That radio segment is exactly what radio on the Isle of Wight sounds like. 
for your information, but the host is never disoriented by it and keeps trucking through it all. And sometimes I can't tell who's right. Isle of Wight. Radio. Radio. Oh, Isle of Wight. Radio. There we go. I got there. Thank you, Kay. Do we want to go back to the diner and see if there's another TV bit in the diner? Why, what am I, why am I asking? Of course we do. Where's that coming from? Ooh. Okay. Was there a hole in the roof? If I check the map, will there be stuff to look at on the map to tell me if there's something new? Investigation. Alright, point of interest. My car. Point of interest. Locked door. Locked door. Manuscript page. We got it though, right? We got that manuscript page? Or did I miss one? That looks like the room we got it in, doesn't it? So after the last stream, I had a dream of you streaming Alan Wake 2, where I commented, meme stream, you read it out loud, sighed, was silent for a few seconds, and then I got chat restricted for five months. XD, please don't restrict me right now as a meme. <laughs> Permanently ban this chatter for five minutes, please. Rose looks different. Welcome to the ah! dear diner. I recommend a slice of pie with some coffee. You can't go wrong with that. So, I'm thinking of pre-gaming at my place before Deerfest. Drinks, snacks, some charades maybe. Oh, it's charades? In everything but the charades. What? What's wrong with charades? Yeah. It's fun. It is. And deer themed. Oh, I'm out then. Wait, what? How is it deer themed? Deer themed charades? I need a tool to get this open. Okay, when are we coming back here with bolt cutters and shit? Just, just hanging, just hanging out in the bathroom, huh? Uh. Okay, anyone who's played the game, is there anything new to find around here somewhere? Uh, should I just do, do a quick uh, run around? There's, there's probably something new. Oh, no, oh, no. oh. What will become of my birds now? Where will they go? Who will feed them? Fly away. Find a happier place. Go while you still can. Making your dream come true. And what about old Margaret? And they were roommates. How do you feel about the rule of... What? How do you feel about the rule of its concepts? I found it hard to engage with the story of I didn't understand what the characters were capable of. Oh, sorry. Um, maybe I read that wrong. Uh, yes and no. 
So your question kind of touches on the, 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 I don't know if our settings are wrong with the water, by the way. That question touches on the, the problem, the conflict between soft magic systems and hard magic systems. And through that, you can also go from, you can extend it to soft sci-fi, hard sci-fi, soft paranormal, hard paranormal, like just, just that sort of thing. So in some stories, the writer will go out of their way to establish the rules. And then after setting up the rules, it's almost like setting up a, a puzzle. Like they set up the rules and the solution is somewhere in the rules. And if you're paying enough attention, it's like mystery writing, you will be able to, um, for all intents and purposes, know who's going to win or or how they're going to win by the end or have a good idea. With a soft magic system, that, that sorry, that's a hard magic system. With a soft magic system, the rules are kind of made up as, the, as they go along. And there still might be a clue hidden somewhere earlier in the text that you can piece together. Like, oh, that's going to come back. It can still follow the same kind of rules, but um, it's more that you're along for the ride and whatever happens, happens. And both can be enjoyable. I personally prefer a hard magic system or the hard rules than soft rules, but um, there have been exceptions. Don't ask me to say any right now because I'm not going to be able to tell you. Um, but some of the some of the soft systems can work quite well. Sorry to um, to do this, but I just want to make sure I did get that page because there's a apparently there's a page on the map right here, and I feel like I got that, so it shouldn't be on the map anymore. So it's it's in here, right? Yeah, this is this is absolutely the one that we got, right? Oh no, it's not. Ed hadn't been the same since his latest show had closed. This wasn't the first time one of his productions had shuttered early. Scathing social commentary in a one-act play wasn't exactly filling seats. When Tammy told him she was taking a research trip to Bright Falls, he decided to tag along. Ed told her he wanted to find inspiration. Really, he just wanted a break from the city. But it was true that he certainly needed to find something. Hey, look, thank you a for the voice. Coffee. A direction. Can you show idea, me the champion of light? Something authentic to himself. No. Ed knew he couldn't <laughs> keep using Tammy's money to fund his playwriting. <laughs> Thank you. After the argument with Tammy, Ed stormed out of the diner and drove their rental car back to Cauldron Lake to prove a point. Now standing in the dark woods, the sun hidden by the trees, Ed wished he could remember what that point was. Something about masculinity. He cursed at himself and turned to go. Suddenly, he was blinded by a light in his face. Voices shouted and hands pushed him to the ground. Ed struggled. Oh no! In vain. So this is linking to what we saw with, uh, with what Tammy, uh, wrote. Okay. I'm glad we came back for this. Okay, and there was something else too, wasn't there? Wasn't there uh Oh, the investigate. Investigation point. What's the point of interest? Is the point of interest just this building or or no? Oh, oh. What is going on with these traced rays? Oh, it looks good there. Huh. That's weird. Okay, so there's a point of interest... Here. This one? We read this already. No, it's a little to the right. It's this guy. So interesting. Hello. I don't think that this is, uh, this is it. I think maybe we got it. It's that over there. It goes away only if you hover over the transcript. Oh, does it? Okay. Nope. I thought you were onto some of their chatter. Have you seen Mulholland Drive? I have not, no. I hear that it's, um... No, you know what? I've heard mixed things about that. I've heard some people think it's it's really great. Classic Lynch. And other people said it's incomprehensible bullshit and it's dumb. And I don't know who to trust. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Uh, 
What the hell was that sound? That's it? Is that something I can put on the board now? Cases? Cult stashes. No, let's move, let's move on. Someone also said that they thought the the car. This is weird. Why was this here? That the car um was usable for a second. It was it our car. Side of the sheriff station behind you has a thing. Is it on the map? Happy, happy harvest. Lock door, screwdriver. So, we need a screwdriver to get into that one? Is that what it's saying? I think that's what it's saying. And we don't have a screwdriver. Oh, it was our car. It was our car that was, that was available. Shoebox, break room. Hmm, okay, let's go. You can still read the emails as well. Ah, oh, God. Okay, for Balder. For Balder! Someone is getting more angry as this goes on. I can feel it. How many times do I have to tell you? She's gone missing. Uh, are you sure she's not just avoiding your calls? Why would she do that? I'm a lovely person. Kill the Joe, make some mo. Re re, not your personal assistant. Chet, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. <laughs> Holy shit! I know Marco's beard was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Since my number, numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded, from here on out, if you've, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. But here at the police station, we say, fuck the government. It, is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late night per impulse buys? Yes, it is. You've been warned, admin. P.S. Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. Oh, damn. Reminder, the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. And re remember to wash your coffee mugs. Third annual community outreach uh, barbecue. Hey gang, the annual event you've all been eagerly awaiting is uh, is upon us again. The community outreach barbecue. Now, I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts, are more effective in their policing, and have overall better mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. I have heard this actually. Uh, that That's a very important part. Uh, the community voted uh, dunk tank victim this year will be, drumroll please, Deputy Thornton. Congratulations. Thornton's probably going to be sitting up on the dunk tank chair, like, asking over and over again, so what's going to happen? Why am I on this chair? Wait, what's going to happen when when they hit the bullseye? I'm going to fall into what? Into the water? Oh, and then what's going to happen? Congratulations. Looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, eh? <laughs> what? The friendly reminder that... Anyone out sick on the day needs to provide a written doctor's note or you'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies uh, all to complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine. Tim. I recently read a, a Reddit comment that said you can falsify doctor's notes because it's illegal and the doctor won't even confirm if they did actually call like you you're not allowed to to call the doctor and confirm that the the open. note is legit is that true you still haven't cleaned the sink bud
not not in Germany. So in Germany, and someone's saying in the U.S. In Germany, in the U.S., your employer is allowed to call a doctor's office and say, "Hey, was my employee at at your like visited your establishment on this day?" I can't get through this. Patient information is allowed. Yeah, that, I think that's where it's coming from. I'm not saying that they're right. I'm just curious, are they right? I don't know. I mean, they don't need to. They can just ask them to validate the document. Isn't validating the document the same thing as calling and saying, like, hey, were they there? Hmm. Maybe they have a system in place for validation. Have a nice day. Man, I don't like the water. I hope there's not a big a big scene later that the water's gonna mess up. All right, I think we did everything now. I think we can move on to the next area. But before we do that, I would like to say thank you to some people. I would like to say thank you to uh, Hipster Garbage Trash for the resub, Cerebral Policy for the resub, Dragon555 for the resub, Cerebral Policy also says that they have been developing migraines. Watching the streams for eight months has nothing to do with my family history of migraines. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, I think I could probably give someone a migraine. Sorry. Thank you, Canty Ash for the resub. Mr. Kirai for the resub. Zorgrox for the bits. Drolian for the resub. Gooey for the for the thousand bits. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bits. Thank you, Gooey. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. G-U-W-I. Petition for Joe to watch Death Oh no, they're loaded bits. Thank you, Gooey. Thank you, Mr. Connor Gale for the resub. And Pimozide or Pimozide for the resub as well. Tell me thanks for subbing that. Oh no, I did what I was told. Before I was told. Alright, we're going to So we can go back to Cauldron Lake by ourselves? Okay. Excuse me, chat. I need to turn the AC on. Because even though it's snowing like crazy outside, Alan Wake 2 creates so much heat. Because it's such a hot banger. Oh, that's still going off. All right, so if we ran around here, I don't know what that is. Point of interest, we did it already. I wonder if we got everything. Is there um, is there a percentage somewhere? Oh, we come back with the screwdriver. All right. You know what? Once we get the the screwdriver, and I'm gonna guess bolt cutters. I think we should come back and do a thorough a thorough round of uh, of this. This is a cool area. I don't know, chat. Do we prefer games that have smaller pseudo open world levels like this like a uh, witcher one style to open world when there's going to be exploring I, everything has its place right but right now this is more interesting to me i kind of like this where it's like okay a more more contained but still open level Another phone call. Yeah, Anderson, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, <laughs> if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. 
<laughs> but remember what happened with the salt shaker? <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. Yep, still, still living up that banger prank you did, where you unscrewed the salt shaker a little bit and salt went everywhere. The page placed me in a trailer, somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Local girl, return three. I'm new in town. Yeah, the water's fucking up. Do you think there's any way we could fix it? What setting is doing it? Do you think it's ray tracing? Turning ray tracing off. It's that setting. Okay, it's that setting. Why is why is that setting doing it? Path traced indirect lighting is fucking it up. What about on high? Oh, that's even worse. All right. What about if we put it on low and then turn transparency off? Oh, it looks kind of bad. Turning it on high makes it better, but it's still present a little bit. I just saw it flicker in the back. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? All right, that's better, right? I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's. All right, if we take, if we turn it off now, are we going to lose the... No, it still looks pretty good with it off, right? Yeah, now it's back, see? So it's, it's this setting interacting with this setting. Oh, holy shit. Oh, wow. That... Oh, that's a huge... <laughs> that's a huge difference. Holy... All right, let's uh, let's let's keep it on that because that looks really good. So, well, us fishing types appreciate you all at least. I don't see it. No difference. Chatter. Mind giving me a hand and help? Chatter. Look under the boat. See. Baited while well, we are fishing. We are fishing. Now? Uh, I'm supervising the work. And, and Chatter has a crossed out eye symbol. Oh, they're just listening. Okay, all right. You got me. Well done. Well done. Plus two. The flooding is even worse here. More Watery. like underwatery. <laughs> I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you should. Yeah, he'd like it. Heavy Hello. rain. Heavy. What? What are you just hanging out here? Man, I wonder how hard it's gonna be once we once we fully cap out on graphics. The next stage is now making how people act more um, natural, right? People don't just stand around like this. I wonder if we're ever gonna get there. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. For watery. For beer. Mayor Setter will stand up for justice. Fresh fish. Where's the time gone? McCready? There's just a wretched husk of what used to be me left. What setting's causing more of those weights to appear? Well, they say being old is just a state of mind. I'd like to give them a peace of mind. Hello, do yeah, that was my guess too, but I didn't want Worry's to say it because I was wrong. Definitely quaint. Good day. Taking a break from the hotel, huh?
Having played a bit of Cyberpunk with it on, I don't think path tracing is in a state where it should be turned on without testing it. I think that as a whole, we're still not ready for ray tracing. Maybe the 4000 series cards finally are. I remember when ray tracing first came out with uh, with the 2000 set, right? Because I remember we played Control with the 2000 set. Did we not? Or was it the, was it the 3000 set? Um, and I remember thinking this is, this is still just feels like it's in super early stages. And I feel like there has been progress made since then. Um, but not not enough. So the pro I don't think there's there's any issue with something being like in experimental. We'll start, we'll, we are still learning how to use it uh, stage. But I feel like Nvidia isn't being upfront about how fucked up it is. You know, it's like yeah, RTX on, turn it on, it makes everything better. RTX, RTX, and and it's really cool tech. Don't get me wrong, it looks fucking awesome. But hands. it's also not ready yet. I bet they have good fish here. So it's a marketing problem, not a tech problem. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Alan? Yes, hammer the boat. Let she get loose from the mooring. Hitched her up so securely. I swear this vessel has a mind of its own. Who are you playing as now? Saga. Saga is an FBI agent that is here with Max Payne uh, to investigate the murders that are happening in Bright Falls. The ritualistic killings. So you can switch back between Saga and Alan Wake and do chapters of each as you as you play. What do you think about RTX Minecraft? I th I don't think I've ever played RTX Minecraft. Um, actually, I don't think I think I know. I've never played RTX Minecraft. I've seen videos of it though, and it looks really good. It goes to show you how much RTX can elevate Mom's even things that. Sweden. Are old, you I've know? always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Whoa! So Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half deer, half man monsters? Oh, sure, I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Did you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. What is going on with these knees? Oh God! Is this me three years from now? I have nice knees. I don't want my knees to go like that. I missed the first fifty minutes. What do you think of the musical section? It was really great. However, the combat during it has made me realize that I don't understand the combat system, and that's making me a little annoyed. Um, so I don't understand where you're supposed to point the flashlight to get rid of the darkness, which seems like a simple thing, but it's not working properly. At the, at the end of last stream, I was pointing the flashlight in such a good place that it was revealing this like red weak point on some of the enemies. And I was expecting like all yesterday, I was like, okay, so when I play tomorrow, I'm going to point the flashlight at their chest, the red light's going to appear, and then I'm going to shoot the red light and see if that kills them in one hit. Maybe that's part of the combat system. And then the, all today, I couldn't even get a red fucking light to appear. So I don't I understand it. And also sometimes I was pointing at their chest and it wasn't taking the darkness away. So I don't I don't know what to do. So next time we get a, a lone um, dude, I would like to do some uh, experimentation to see. Hey Seva. A sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Oh just just chilling in this dirty ass water, huh? We're just chilling in this dirty ass water. Alright. Have you heard old Pat's radio show lately? Yeah, I, I, I fear he's losing his grip on reality. I don't care to listen to pointless jibber jabber. Oh, he's he's consistent. Not in the radio, not in the sauna. Uh oh, so you're not from here? Whew. Ha. 
not. I found it. The sauna. Sauna suck. Finish people. I wasn't the one who said it. Someone in chat said it. I think saunas are are okay. Six out of ten. Whoa, sure is nice out here by the water. Nice and quiet. So we're gonna go in here and see around and look around. Let's see. Oh, we still don't have the map. I guess the map we get in there. Rich Lambert? Is this your side hustle? What is... Rose Marigold. Registered nurse? And then you just go to the diner to... by Thomas Sane, a pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness. Thomas Sane as the diver, Barbara Jagger as the dark presence, Cynthia Weaver as the lady of the light, Emile Hartman as the assistant, written and directed by Thomas Sane, based on a novel by Alan Wait, what? Why? How is this real? Oh, this song's good. Emerson. Wasn't that also someone that went to the to the lodge that Hartman was doing? Thomas saying Thomas Emerson? Oh, we can switch back. Interesting. Ati and the janitors. Sorry, I saw a blonde. Ramstein vibes. Yeah, I hear it too. Yeah, you're right. Such a shame. Fest. One of a kind of amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all our readers know who Elmo Koskela. Sorry, no, Elmo Koskela, who, with the help of his brother Jacko, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Elmo a few questions about Coffee World. Elmo, what is Coffee World about? Am I saying, is Elmo pronounced acceptable or is it Ilmo? Ilmo? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee themed amusement park for all ages and right here in our hometown of Watery. It's got all the rides, thrills and excitement you could ask for and of course lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and ice. Put that in. Put, put, <laughs> 
how did this unique business idea come about? Ilmo, well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you could say. But what's even more important to me than my many bi successful businesses in our hometown? Okay, with my help, we can revitalize Watery. Am I having a stroke? Build this economy back up. Bring the tourists back in and enjoy ourselves in the process too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for out-of-towners. Which attraction should the visitors be sure not to miss? Elmo, oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible, but the slow coaster is of course a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic, and the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Espresso. Also, don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You never know what treasures you might find with a 9% discount. Coffee at least, I bet. Yes. Is this Watery's own Nessie? An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors claiming it was, uh, it was captured during the last full moon. Looks like Nessie. A majestic beast hidden in the depths of the, of the water, or an elaborate prank, a sea creature that defies the very laws of nature, or a submarine relic from the Cold War era. <laughs> a lonely wanderer uh, searching for companionship and compassion, or a fearsome monster out, out for blood. These questions, uh, among others, haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record after one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an un unidentified creature roaming watery's waters and making a rare but opportune appearance. This titillating sp spotting might just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all our readers to a naming competition. What should our local beast be called? Watery Wanda? Shelly the Sea Monster? Send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations to follow as the story unfolds. What's this? Kickstarter backers? Volunteer Gardener. That's for me. I'll take it. That's for me. Look at the bottom right here. I'm not, I'm not seeing... Culliver Col Gunnarsson? Gunnar Gunnarsson? Yeah. There has been another murder. I already know. The victim was my son. You don't sound very upset. We were not close. The killer could be anyone in Helgesund. That's over seven people. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Allow me to slip into fluent English. Hello? Gunnar Gunnarsson? Is it about my son? Gunnar Gunnarsson, son? Understood. I know who the... <laughs> Sorry, I can do the whole thing. <laughs> Almost perfectly. Alright, what do we want to do here? Do we want to upgrade our gun? <laughs> How many magazine pieces do we have? Oh, it's a lot harder to upgrade um, Saga's shit. Is it because you get the upgrade all at once? More bullets? All right, do we want to... Hold on, let's see what we have. The Gunsmith, out of action. Increases reload speed. De deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Killed an enemy killed an enemy to restore health. The amount of restored health depends on the strength of the enemy. Oh, that seems pretty good. Yeah, let's get that one. The report of the shotgun rang in the air. Oh! The enemy fell. Saga felt a surge of new energy. She'd been dead tired before, but was ready for more now. She would get through this. She continued on. What stream did I do the How Is Babby Formed bit? Alright, so we don't need uh, this. This is going to... Let's move one of these over and now we have two shotguns good to have i think we need healing for saga because saga doesn't have the uh the extra healing on checkpoints uh, let's move the flares over let's move the propane tank over i don't think we're going to use that 
Let's use the other propane tank over as well. God, he loves inventory management so much. All right, that's not bad. I love that the characters' voices were lowered when they when they spoke in here because the music was on. The saga was whispering a little bit, kind of kind of up close, not to disturb. It. Oh, lottery! Bingo! 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 Yeah, nice. Speaking of Babby formation, how far off is Babby five? Uh, it's in another life. In another life. All right, where are we going? Oh, this place is, oh, we're going to Coffee World. It's pretty big. All right, did we miss anything anywhere? Conversation, new choices, my car, and investigation. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Wait, what? Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. S Saga, why aren't you... Oh, okay. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskela owns it. Owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo, Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Hi. What? What? Hello? Valhalla Nursing Home. That's a good name for a nursing home. Did someone just call out to us? Hi. Alright, so there's a container here. Investigation. Favorite Sesame Street character? Okay, listen. I know this may be a little controversial, but it shouldn't be, alright? Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is, is just an amazing character. Because it's the same bit every time, and it never gets old. Have you ever seen the Furchester Hotel? All, every single joke is Cookie Monster finds a way to somehow eat a cookie, and it is just like there's tension, it builds up, it's, the punchline comes, and it's it's just a banger every time. It lands every time. A trailer park. Ilmo Koskela. He's that tour guide we met at Cauldron Lake. Oh, here you him. go, Mr. Doll. I bring you what you order for lunch. It is cookie. But I didn't order cookie, I ordered tomato soup. Oh, be so sorry, Mr. Doll. Oh, how could Cookie Monster get it wrong? Oh, well, better not let this cookie go to waste. Oh, nom 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 oh, nom 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 nom. Like it's just it's funny every single time. Every single it's just like you know what's gonna happen. Practice? It's not practice. I do this bit with the kids all time. I guess it is practice in that sense. I'm Cookie Monster to, to for, for Kate and Mila all the time. Did you see he has a food truck job now with another funny guy? Yes, I have seen that one, yeah. That's a weird one. I wouldn't want to... And they're, they're preparing their food with their fucking, like, furry hands that are like the fursuits, like, flaking off, fluff all everywhere, and they're making burritos. It's like, what the... <laughs> I also noticed that they explain where all the ingredients come from. Here's where this ingredient comes from. Here's how they make tortillas and all this shit. But they're suspiciously quiet on the front of, oh, here's where the meat comes from. Like, yes, hmm, the meat, the meat we just get. That's just uh, assumed. It's... <laughs> hey, Saga. Hey. Here. Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? Another satisfied customer. Yeah. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. 
Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. Yeah. This keeps happening. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, we saved it. We almost went off the cliff there. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. Has anyone talked to Casey except for Alan and the guy from Quantum Break? Yes, the the first police officer said they can hear you. Yeah, okay, so so Casey is real. Okay. You on the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? Oh, I got don't it. understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Yeah. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Okay, so I was talking to Lily about this uh, yesterday because Lily's interested in the game. My leading theory right now is that Saga, Saga's daughter died and at, at some point in, maybe it's already happened, I don't know how rewriting reality works. At some point in the future or her effective past, she will make a deal with Alan to be like, I'll help you, but I you can rewrite reality. Can you rewrite reality to another one where my where my daughter is alive? Something like that, some sort of exchange. But I don't know. That seems too clean to me. But that's like where my mind is going. I don't know if that's if that's what's going to happen. That's not like a strong theory, but that's where my mind is at the moment with what's going on. Some sort sort of rewriting reality bit, but it's not f finished yet. It's an ongoing process. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So, your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. My theory is Wake has to latch on to bits of reality, and he knows the daughter from, like, if the daughter died in the lake, yeah, if the daughter died in the lake, and then that's how Alan gets, gets a, a, like, a, a hook on something, and then he rewrites something in order for Saga to be able to come back here and stand it, because that's the only FBI agent he can control. But I think that, that now that's getting into the soft magic system we spoke about earlier, where... It seems like Alan Wake is extremely powerful sometimes. Maybe it, it comes and goes, like like lucidity, like like the phases of the moon. It's like sometimes he's really strong and he can create a whole-ass person just somewhere else or a whole-ass organization. And other times he's really weak because his sanity keeps like being taken away in the dark place. Um, and sometimes he has to do the best he can with little scraps. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Like I, you can barely trust anything at the moment. I hope it. I hope it ends well. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide, and uh, Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. Really, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. It's true. It's true. I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Ilmo. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and. Uh, Check them all out. I will. Profiling may give me the answers I need. We're gonna profile about these two. Was humanity really meant to cross this river? Or any obstacle for that? Flooding matter? did this? <laughs> Was humanity really meant to cross this river? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Alright. Just like my marriage. <laughs> I 
I have to do profiling before I can get past these, I guess. All right, let me let me check. I'm being really thorough because I'm really enjoying the game and I don't want to miss anything. Uh, occasionally, I play like games like this off stream too. Locked door. All right, that's it. So let's do some profiling. I love that you can select where to go uh, from across the uh, across the room. All right, so the, these are two people. These are two people. This looks like a, a darkness person here. So what's going to be with Wake? Scratch or us? Hmm. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? White's laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Okay, I feel like she's engaging with this the best way you you possibly could. This this is this is actually somehow threading the needle for me right now. Cause she still has to keep going, right? So I'm pretty impressed that she's she's thinking about it and she's like, yeah, like let's see, like where is this going? The, so clearly, she's 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 basically in the place that we are right now. It's like ludo narrative harmony, right? She's basically like, clearly, I can't trust a lot of things going on right now because the story is affecting everyone, and I this doesn't make sense to me, and there's a conflict, and I can't figure out what the answer is. That's really good. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother. Yeah. Oh. The shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They Wait. don't think it's an urban legend at all. Hold on. They understand it's dangerous. The coffee world, we do illegal forest excursions, fuck the government TV bros are gonna be important. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The thing is, though, I feel like what this game is doing, a lot of other video game stories could do, a lot of movies could do this, too, where you just, all you just need is that little bit of time, like, just a page or two, or just one scene of just the characters just sitting there and being like, okay, here we go, let's actually think about the situation we're in and, and voice some things. And I don't know why some writers don't do that. Is it that they're afraid that that's going to give too much away? Or is it that they're just trying to hide, like, plot contrivances and plot holes? without and that they think they're going to come to light if they have the character think about it and they want to save things for oh you never asked like like i don't want to say the the crimes that uchi koshi has, has committed but you know the never mind character sitting down and having a talk there's a whole last huge plot plot point that if a character just just looked in a mirror they would see something you know what i mean like that was vague enough right like you, like you, you avoided a whole fucking thing just because of that you know so yeah I'd like to see my trailer. Here we go. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. I am an Alan Wake 1 apologist. I know the game is like a 6 out of 10, but I love it to death. I cannot believe how much better this game is. I am happy for Remedy that they've learned so much and are getting the attention they deserve. Oh, you, you must be like a pig and shit, man. Like, congrats. What am I paying them for? Because they're busy. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that uh, thing. Yep. Yeah, uh, you, guys are, at the park. you guys are. You guys are kind of sus. These are all big hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Alan Wake fans are kind of nuts about this game. The Alan Wake uh, subreddit. 
shut down for three or four days when this game came out so there would be no spoilers and also so the mods wouldn't have to have the game spoiled for them either while they're playing it i think it's open now but they shut their whole like their new game just came out and they shut their whole ass subreddit down for three days so people could play it need to get across the river <laughs> base yeah pretty based pronunciation thing are you capable of differentiating ilmo and ilmao is that it? Is that the difference? Ilmo, Ilmo? I don't know. I don't know what that would be. Ilmu and Ilmo? Ilmo and Ilmu? Why would you put a theme park in this? What the fuck are you guys doing? What? Jocko, Alan Wake came to me in a dream last night and said we must build Coffee World theme park so we can have a so Saga can have a level of it in the video game that's coming out soon. Okay, Ilmo, I will start the construction. What was that? Yeah, what was that? Oh. Fuck. Is it a puppet? Oh. FBI, show yourself. No, nope, it's not. Can we lure this guy to, down to town? <laughs> it's the flash. Run, Barry, run. What? Oh, I have to reload completely. Okay. Where's my life back for for killing an enemy? Or do I have to kill both to get my life back? More people turning into Taken. Sh oh, shotgun only. This okay, my bad. Or where, the story. Where did you or get both. Taken from? Did, did Alan Wake say that in the script somewhere that we picked up? I guess so. It's only with shotgun. Well, that sucks. I want my health back. Okay, that enemy was pretty fun to fight. Let's go back and tell them about the, about the Taken, and also we get to uh, to heal. Any plans to replay Max Payne's? I haven't played Max Payne one and two since they came out, so I would love to replay those games. But they're they're remaking them, so I don't know if I want to wait. Honestly, though, I'm a I'm I really loved those games when I was younger, so I wouldn't mind playing the originals before the remakes as well. I have never seen an episode of The Flash, but I saw a YouTube compilation of every single time they say run, Barry, run, and it was one of the funniest out of context things I've ever seen. It made the show look awful. Is it really that bad? Play the whole trilogy? I've never played Max Payne, Max Payne uh, five, uh, 3 yet. Uh. Hey, uh, I got attacked by some axe guy. You're still waiting? Okay, we can't talk to anyone. That's fine. Where was the break room again? It's in- oh, it's in this- okay, we're going all the way back there, fuck it. I heard the Flash is the worst part of the whole DC movie universe. Those movies look pretty bad. Even visually they look bad. Okay, we're getting some life back. Hey, 
Alright, sorry that was tedious. I wanted to see if Saga would talk to anyone saying, hey, I just got attacked in the forest, but I guess not. Which is alright. If this was an anime game, it would bother me, but it's not, so I'm letting it go. We used a lot of bullets on those guys. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh, I'm behind on subs, sorry. Uh, thank you to... Did I say thank you to Mr. Connor Gale? I think I did. Just in case, uh, thank you again, Mr. Connor Gale, for the resub. Thank you. Oh, I did, because I said thank you to Pimozide as well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mazus, for the resub. Thank you, Arch Mazus. Thank you, Pilko718. Someone heard something that sounds like Pilk, so they're going to say it in chat now. Thank you very much, Pilko. Thank you, Talisman G1, for the resub. Thank you, Zyphix14, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. And Danadeline? Danadeline? One of those for the new sub as well. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. I'm starting to understand why Caps DM me and said Alan Wake was like Princess Tutu. Wait, is it? Is it? Oh man. Maybe maybe uh, Anu did me a favor by tricking me into being one of her fucking butterflies. The genre Ati is singing is called Eskilma. And you might be more familiar with the German equivalent of Schlager. No, I'm not. I'm not. I didn't trick shit. Oh, now we're gaslighting. Okay. All right. Trick gaslight girl boss. There's there's a fucking safe room up here, isn't there? Oh my god. Oh, enter. That 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 was in. That was in. I disagree. Max Payne Remix will only enter full production next year and probably take a year or two to release, if not more. It'll take a while. Yeah, but we, we have so much to play. We have a whole ass fucking Persona game to play soon. <sighs> Wait, which one am I? Which one are you, Kay? You can use Space Bar 2. Oh, can you? Okay. Saga on, was on beginning to boss, see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing. Yeah. But involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead. What the fuck, Alan? Too fast to see. Saga drew her weapon. Her eyes searched the woods. A noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look. A local. A man on the ridge above her. No. Not a man. A monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust. I don't. I don't remember it saying that. Are you went from trick to gaslight? Which one am I? I don't know. You've been pretty good lately, Kay. Maybe that's just a long con. I'm gonna sneeze. There's another cult stash. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, if you if you take the crossbow out, put it back in the stash when you're done. P.S. I changed the code as asked. One, two, three. No. Six, seven, four, five, eight, zero. No. Okay. Hmm. Where are we getting this code? Oh, hold on. Two, three, five. Five, seven. Three darts is seven. One is five. So five something seven. Five, 
something seven. Yes! All right. I have a crossbow. All right, can I get the, the, the bolt back after I fire it? That's a nice looking crossbow. Holy shit. Was there, where's two? Two has nothing in it. Oh, here we go, all right. Oh, and now I take the bolts. Very nice. Can I get them back? White. Did I pick it up? Has a chance to break. Oh, that sucks. Can I hit the bottle, someone in chat says? That looks weird. Oh ho. I feel like you deserve some res respite. I'll hurt when there's uh, more of a spirit to break. Very evil, very evil. Okay, so we can go a little to the right. This That's where we came from, right? Up here? Anything up here? Doesn't look like it. This game has incredible atmosphere. Yeah, it's not just that uh, the game looks nice. It also adds to the mood of the game too, right? The visuals are helping a lot with that. Don't get me wrong, that's not exceedingly rare. Some games do that, but... Um, Sometimes you also find a game that it just looks nice and th that just means nothing. It's just like, hey, we got we have a nice graphics, but who gives a fuck? What is the greatest invention? Uh, sliced bread, isn't it? Although everyone in chat just slices it themselves. Semlik says he's been trying to make this game for 13 years, but it, but is happy they didn't get to because he learned a lot from their other games and it shows. Yeah, uh, they it really shows progress as a developer here. Yeah, I feel like I missed something. Oh, I went to the right up here instead. Okay. And now I just want to clear something up from our last broadcast. There was some talk. An off-color joke of sorts about Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky being dead? Which, of course, is a bunch of hogwash. So I'm gonna give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put an end to these silly rumors. And, oh, it looks like we already have her on the phone line. <laughs> Wendy, hello. Hi there, Pat. Ah, uh, that, that's, that's not Wendy. No, this is Jim Figamore. Remember? We were gonna do the announcement today. Oh, is that... was that today? Uh, listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater and... And I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I, Jim Figamore, will be running for mayor! <laughs> Hold for applause. Well, that's, uh... Quite a, an announcement, Jim. Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town. Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene and impressive bird feeders. That's true, yeah. And what's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky Bright Falls. The world is laughing at us. And now, all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. Because you've been playing one on stage. I played one in the theatrical <laughs> <production of> Fear <laughs> To glowing reviews.
produced by Coffee World magazine. Mayor Setter is a joke. <laughs> I hear he kills cats. There. Whoa! Whoa! Now, Jim, this is a family show. Oh, I found my notes here, so so why don't we pivot to some questions? First question: What exactly goes into that delicious beef jerky? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like these are my questions for Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky. The only thing I care about is Mayor Setter. Our future's at stake. Pets are being murdered. And it's time for change. <laughs> Jim Figamore for mayor. That concludes our program. <sighs> well, I actually had more Jim, Jim Figamore and Pat Main signing off. This is very well written. I'm so impressed by this. This is so good. Really entertaining, really funny as well, but also adding to the story. It's not it's not just like a side piece. It's so good. They're thinking about the medium as they're writing it. They're like, okay, players are going to want to stop to listen to these so that we have to make sure that they, they're worth um, instructing Another them for one. it. Don't go on too long, but don't be too short either. Make it worth the stop. Add to the mystery, but also have some fun. Really well done. What the hell's going on down there? Three little deers ventured to Rome and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. Uh Nope. No, just one deer? No. One deer never came home. That's not right. Hmm. Well, it's not going to be the home one. Sure. I don't get it. How is that the answer? Okay, what did that do? I don't understand that. You brought him home. Oh, I thought I was I thought I was supposed to be trying to recreate something that happens in the poem. This time it wasn't. Again, this is just guess what I'm thinking. What do you think of Vegemite? Um, I'm not a fan of Vegemite. My dad was big on Vegemite, or some say uh, Marmite. Oh shit! Oh, you have to stop in place to reload this thing. Oh, I missed. I remember trying it when I was a kid and hating it. it smells pretty bad too. Man, I love how these wolves move. Alright, we got him. Where's the other one? We are going through these vaults. Alright, did the one I miss, is it over here? Why are you opening my inventory? A charm. Wait, did I get him? Did I not miss? No, I missed, right? He's dead. Where's the other wolf? Sorry, I, I missed. He's not dead. Where's the other wolf? Is there a... I, I did hit him. Oh, did I really? I thought I missed. You hit, hit, missed, hit, hit. Did I? Oh, okay. Sorry. Let's get Wendy Davis on the phone. Alright, what is this charm? Fuck. Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. Ah, I mean, just, just put it on. And another lunch. 
lunchbox. I lowered my rifle, standing on the car's roof. I looked out at the carnage. Jelly? The zombies had almost won, but luckily I was here. Heroes are sometimes the people we least expect them to be. Now my town was finally safe, thanks to me. I slung the hot piece of iron over my shoulder one more time, hopefully for the last time. The townspeople, cautiously emerging from their hiding places, surveyed the same carnage I saw and cheered my name, and I waved and they cheered again. Now I could finally get, ba get back to my quiet, unassuming life. Reading books and gardening and fiber crafts and being the world's top mycology expert. Inscription? Suddenly I, a hand seized my wrist. I looked into the eyes of the sweet, sensitive writer I had known since childhood. A smile spread across his beautiful, kind face, and I felt at peace for the first time since the zombies had first emerged. You did it. I knew you could. Now we can live in peace together for the rest of our days. All right. Alice? Maybe Alice. I legitimately do not remember killing the second wolf. That's scary. Where's the body? Forgetful streamer, yeah. Maybe I glanced at chat when I fired the shot. Sometimes glancing at chat is an automatic thing. Sometimes they do it at really bad times. I just did it right now. Again. You know what? I'm looking at chat more than looking at the game. Least favorite food? Um, That's a really hard question. That's a really broad question. Uh, anything with gluten in it because it fucks my whole week up. Uh, least food to taste? Least favorite food to taste? Um, a couple years ago, I probably would have just said, like, really spicy food, but I've been trying to eat more spicy food lately, uh, and it's growing on me quite a bit. Soup? Yeah, let's go with soup. I hate soup. Just a waste of time. Soup sucks. But it's not bait. When you're hungry, eat something. Don't drink something. Okay, so it's definitely... Has to be the front. You can't do it on the back. Interesting. And also, there was no red uh, weak spot that showed up. This is bait, right? No, it's not bait. I hate soup. Soup sucks. You're still gonna be hungry at the end. Stew is good. If you're if you're eating something that's between soup and stew, okay. What about wonton soup? I don't think I've ever had wonton soup. I would try it. I'm a soup centrist, and yet I am more based than you. No, there's nothing people hate more than a centrist on any topic. Pick a side. Okay, ranger cabin. Can we get up here? Yeah, I'm more correct than you. Doesn't matter. Being correct doesn't. A lot of centrist takes are correct. We still hate them. Being correct has nothing to do with it. What world do you think you're living in, Kay? Gay? Okay. I said K. You said gay? 
Oh, I'm sorry. It was one of my uh, times when uh, my voice decides to do something else. Like when I said Max Plane the other the other stream. You're not wrong. That yeah, yeah. It's true. <laughs> balloons, pop them. Okay, you gotta be able to burst the balloons. Yes. Absolutely worth. Can you call me gay too? You're gay. There you go. Done. Would anyone else like me to call them gay? Yes, Daddy? You've ruined it. That's it. Done. Scratch stalked through the forest. A terrifying dark presence in the night, more sense than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. I'm making clam chowder just to spite you now? Those okay. He had taken. They were coming with him directed by him his army of darkness his singular purpose was a sharp pulsing black hole in his head waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy filling them with his purpose the clicker he wanted it to make his horrific ending to the story come true the art was there the clicker would push it across the final threshold a detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality he was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted, straining against their invisible leashes, filled with bloodlust. Hmm. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him. It called him on. Let the final deer fest commence. <laughs> How is Deer Fest so important? Show me the champion of darkness. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where is Scratch? Does Moncton have any guide cell towers? Long cables holding them up, and do you ever kind of look at cell towers? Uh, not that I've noticed. There might be one in the distance. How big are they? I, I, I we're, I'm, we're not gonna be able to figure this out on, on stream chat. There's been a couple that I've seen, uh, towers around, so maybe that's it. Everything outside of Moncton is, is quite beautiful. There's a lot of forests around. A lot of hills. It looks nice. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, there's a side area over here in the ranger cabin. All right, let's go back. What is going on? Break time, by the way. Wow, you just asked that almost dead nuts at two hours. Holy crap. Um, yeah, let's let's do it before we get into the ranger area. We'll go back to the safe room. <clears throat> Coffee world. How is this place feeling... Presenting as new, but also feels like we're in the apocalypse and fallout. The fuck is going on with Coffee world? There we go. Anyway, right back. Uh, before I go, thank you to Mary Filium for the resub. Thank you very much, Mary Filium. Thank you, Natalis, for the resub. Thank you, Antipox334 for the resub. Soup for the poll ended. And is soup centrism more based than soup hating? And is the waifu of. Alright, right back.
All right, sorry about that. I had a very important uh, purchase to make during break. Leo wanted watermelon game on his Switch. He gives me the Switch. You said you would get me watermelon game. And then I said, I'm on break, Leo. I don't know where my credit card is. And then he gave me my credit card. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> Is it always the same time? Has there been a clock that's worked yet? Five past ten? Man, a watermelon game. I think I'm on a hot streak. I think the last four times I've played Watermelon Game... Now, it's the browser version, because I don't have it on my Switch. Um, I have gotten a Watermelon. I think I've got the strat down pretty well. But maybe it's luck. I also got a Watermelon the first time I played it. And then I didn't get it a couple more times after that. Are you dreading your kids becoming teenagers? No, not really. Maybe. But maybe it'll be bad. But no, not really. One day, a giant ominous structure was constructed in the middle of, of the northeast Isle of Wight. It was a big tower with lights on it that always turned on at a different time in a cycle of 16 days. It appeared to be rubber and swayed in the wind up to 80 degrees, and nobody, not even the nearby farmers, knew when it was constructed. One day, the owners of the land and the structure disappeared, and I spent too much time wondering why that existed, un unlike with soup, because it's just fine. Oh, I brought it back to soup. That sounds like a Moncton story. Sounds like some S SCP shit. There's another lunchbox. Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fanfiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Thank you. So the ranger cabin is flooded and we can't get to it ever? Did I miss anything? No, we're going to the gift shop. 9% discount. Oh shit. Hey, thanks for the streams and VODs. I'm going to go now. It'd be nice to get to be able to laugh at something recently when things are shit. By the way, uh, you look like you would read Dune, smiley face. Maybe anyway. Aw, oh, no! Hey, thanks for the laughs. Allow me to own you on stream now. Well played, well played. It's totally real. I went there four times. We can never find the owners. The lights were always on. They claimed they were there, but no personal confirmation, confirmation to anybody nearby. Must be some secret uh, project for sure. Anyone here? The government was doing something. Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. fun is percolating this is a waste of electricity why would this be running locked need something to jimmy it open with
that's my personal conspiracy theory because I saw that fucking thing on the bus every day until it just gone. Everyone loses their shit over 5G towers, but not that. Nobody talks about that. People losing their shit over 5G towers? Cold boxes. Only striped cups. This one's right. Is it they think the five G towers are giving them cancer, or is it they think they can they can hear a hum or whatever? <laughs> look at the look at this the sad pooping person on the toilet. Sorry. There we go. What the fuck? All the toilets are out of order. Get your shit together. Oh, it's they're at the bottom too. Hmm. What is this angle? Wait, why is this one a a milk bottle? You don't theme your toilets. Alright, striped cups. Just break through this saga. For sure. Anyone else have like unexplained shit that happened to them even though they consider themselves to be a pretty rational person that doesn't believe anything supernatural there's still a couple of things that have happened in their life that they're like hmm my go-to explanation is that i was probably asleep and i just don't remember that i was asleep a list of maintenance work or it's a narcolepsy thing one time i don't know if i told the story on stream before one time i was really into um this tower defense game on on steam i can't remember what it was called if i found it i would probably be able to tell you the name of it defense grid or something i'm not sure if it was that one uh but it was something like that i was really into this tower defense game and i wasn't very good at it so i went on youtube to see if i could learn from anyone else who was playing it because i had tried for like so much time and i couldn't play it on hard so i watched this youtube video of a guy playing it this was this was before kids okay so like we're talking like 10 years ago at least eight years ago probably 10 years ago and i'm watching this video of this guy do do a level right and it's about i don't know 60 percent through the video 7 percent through the video and he made a mistake and then he said oh fuck i fucked this up let me restart hit escape in the recording and hit restart and then the youtube video i was watching restarted and that part wasn't in the video when i watched it back And now so much time has passed, I think I must have dreamt it, I guess. But at the time, I remember being really awake and being like, what the fuck? And, just, and I just kept going, I, I kept scanning through the whole entire fucking video, being like, where is it, where is it, where is it? And it wasn't there, and it was the same level, and this time he won. <laughs> Being awake, I was, I was being awake, yeah. Sounds like dream logic to me. Yeah, so it probably was, but that's, that's when it becomes spooky on another level. I don't, I remember being awake. I remember Lily being there. I remember telling Lily about it. I wonder if Lily remembers it. She probably wouldn't, even if she, even if it was real. It was so long ago. Maybe you dozed off watching the video. Maybe, but I really don't think so. There was another one. I had a high school. I had a high school um, guest teacher, and he was. This one's not gonna be as interesting. I had a high school guest teacher um, for English, and um, we were talking after class one day because because I, I like this guy, um, and he. We, we were the first class he ever taught. He was he was fresh out of uh, training, um, so he was there to to learn, and we were talking about things like, sort sort of like this. Like you know, there's been a few things in in my life uh, that that I that I can't explain. He said that said that to me, and I was like, yeah, me too, because I was even though I was young, still narcolepsy had, had given me a lot of. Uh, uh, weird experiences um 
And I, and I said to him, you know, maybe we can talk about this next time, uh, after next class. And he looked at me and kind of hesitated, like... And then he just said, yeah, maybe. And then I left class and went home, and I never saw him again, because I was sick the next time he was there. So I missed it. And I was like, did he know? How did he know? You know what I mean? So like, that's probably just like, just a, a social cue I'm misreading. But the, the YouTube one, man, the YouTube one, I don't know what the fuck uh, that one was. That, that fucking fucked me up, man. The lock is jammed again. I, I, forced, I, I forced it last time with the screwdriver, which has disappeared again. Put that shit back when you use it. Huh. Coffee world entrance sign defaced, cleaned with detergent, wax sign should be good until someone tags it again tomorrow, Victor. Have I told this story before, by the way, about the YouTube video? I can't remember. If I can. Fallen tree near Latte Lagoon. Late Lat Lagoon? Latte Lagoon? Should probably call the tree guy, chainsaw and remove, keeping the wood. Several burned out pulps in on percolator, replaced and ordered more bulbs. Speaking on Latte Lagoon car... Sorry, squeaking. Uh, car B, tighten the bolts, less bad now. Percolator control panel jammed. Remove front with screwdriver. Found a penny in there. <laughs> oh, free penny. Oh, man. There's your tip. There's your tip. Yeah, I get these too. My fridge is sentient and knows when I'm going to bed. It only goes into its compressor cycle when I lay down. Have you have you um, been a scientist and, and gone to bed at different times every single day for multiple weeks at a time and it keeps going compressor cycle every single time? Don't we need screwdriver? We do need screwdriver, yeah. I don't know where we're going to find it. I thought there was going to be something with the striped cups. But I can't see them anywhere. Oh, I do! I do see them! Hold on. Four? Shit. What's that one? I do see them. Four? Seven. Oh, what's the order, though? Is it ascending order? Four, seven... What, what, it was a spiral, wasn't it? Was it this way? So if it's this way, it's 4, 7. It's the other way, it's 7, 4. Is that a stripe one? 4, 7, 10? Well, it can't be 10. That's a stripe. Is it that one? 1? Oh, no. 4, 7, 1? One, seven, four. No, four, seven, one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Only striped cups going this way. Wasn't it? Was it one? Was it one four seven? One four seven. Okay, that it was that. All right. Do not take what what is not yours. Okay, starting to think these brothers are in the tree cult. And not because of that weird phone call earlier either. Hmm. Fresh pots! Tractor? Do you experience hallucinations as part of your narcolepsy? Yes, but they're pretty rare. And they're almost always upon um, falling asleep. Occasionally waking up, but usually they're upon falling asleep. Lame. 
Man, seeing all these rigged games is kind of making me a little Jesus. mad. Jesus! <laughs> Calm down, Saga. It's just a pot of coffee. <laughs> Have a beautiful day! <laughs> oh, they explain where the sound's coming from. But how did it know I was here? Is there a motion sensor? Getting a little confused. Latte Lagoon. Alright, here we go. The screwdriver is going to be over here. I'm looking for my screwdriver, but I'm all turned around. Why can't I just hold right mouse button and a red line will show me where to go? Oh, fucking hell. So many game developers still haven't learned from Witcher 3. Alright, we're not, we're not, we're in the wrong place. Do we have to drain the water? Or what do we have to do? Gift shop point of interest. What was that one that we missed? Where did we come in? We came in down here. We went to the gift shop. We missed something over here, apparently. We went down here, down the slow roaster. No, we didn't. We came here. Did we go up here? I think we did. This is where we, we did the, um... The puzzle, right? I think we walked around Coffee World a little bit. Maybe down here, into here. There's a container we missed. Okay. Overall, I think the map is fairly intuitive. You just look around. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I, not that you're saying I'm criticizing it, but just to be clear, I'm not criticizing it. French presses. I'm just not um, building the map very well in my head at the moment. I find I can do this better when I'm not streaming. Maybe the, the split... Maybe it's a multitasking thing for building a map and that process is uh, devoted to chat and trying to talk. It's just a waste of electricity. Who is doing this? Let's play Curse, yeah. It's getting grumps all over again. Are you... Can I jump on? And then I bump you or something, and then you die, and then it's my fault that you die. Chat would love that. It was Lily. Oh, sure, sure. Thank you. Three shotgun blasts to kill that guy. Hey, how could Lily do this? Get that gift shop open. Zach, screwdriver. All right, so chat, is there any fan? And I include FromSoft fans in this, okay? Is there any fan more condescending and obnoxious to streamers and let's players than the 
card gamer fan. Oh, I had a misplay here. A little inefficient. Miss lethal. One turn earlier. Oh, wow. These plays. I can't stand it. Like, oh my god. They're doing it for inscription. Wow, good thing Joe wasn't reading chat for this one because chat didn't know what he was talking about and he would have made even worse plays. Chess fans? Really? Yeah, how come you're fine on the back? Alright, here we go. Red. Uh, what? It made her stronger? That was a normal zombie, wasn't it? Someone tells me you got folded in Yu-Gi-Oh at some point. I, I might be a surprise for you. I have never played a Yu-Gi-Oh game in my life. Never in my puff have I played. Sorry, that's. <laughs> Sorry, my mom used to say that. Never in my life have I played a Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm a little offended that you think I have. <laughs> Puff? Yeah, I don't know. It's like never. Instead of life, she used to say puff. Like if I was ha if I had a bad day at school, I would say you know I had a bad day at school today, and she's like, "You're a kid. You never had a bad day in your puff." You know, it's a Scottish thing, maybe. Or maybe it was just a a my mom special. Okay, what is the tracking on this? Since you're Scottish, what do you think of train spotting? Never seen it, never read it. I would like to read it. I've read the first page because I heard it was interesting how it was uh, presented. And it, uh, they're right. Okay, someone was just here eating this burger and this muffin next to this Fallout outfit. Hold on. So can I, can I shoot it right now? Turn around. Turn around, turn around. I'm curious if I can do it. Oh, I can. Oh, his is on his head. Why are they so tanky? Okay, so I didn't realize that there was a focal point for it. I thought that was just an effect. All right, why does he have two? Hmm. Because of hard? Yeah, but I feel like these guys are getting even tankier as it goes on. Maybe the health is increasing. Which would be fine. So we can go back now. I, I feel like we didn't explore this area. I understand I'm playing the game very slowly. I hope that's okay. Okay, the Espresso Express fresh uh, thing. We went down here, didn't we? No, this doesn't look... I don't remember the swings. Did I? Did I just run through here while talking to chat? Okay, here, we've been here. Alright, we're gonna have to do a perimeter walk. Percolator, yeah. That's where we just were. Auto saving. Okay, we didn't explore this area here, I think. Exit. That takes us back over to the area that we were before. 
See you, Latte. I don't think we went through there. Mocha the Moose. Speaking of Mocha, let me take a sip. One morning during Coffee World's construction, a wounded moose was discovered taking shelter inside the Fresh Pot gift shop. Though limping from a leg injury, the wily moose proved too quick for wildlife rescue. After a long and unsuccessful chase, everyone stopped for a much-needed coffee break, brewing up some of the coffee world's finest. Before the first cup was poured, the moose appeared, drawn by the delicious aroma. He allowed himself to be treated in exchange for a steaming mug of what is now known as Mocha's Signature Blend. Since then, Mocha the Moose has become a beloved fixture of Coffee World, welcoming guests from across the country as well as personally taste testing each of our roasts to give the, them the Mocha seal of approval. I thought he was a moose. A um, moosing Mocha facts. Mocha is around six years old. Did you know moose can live up to 25 years? Mocha weighs 820 pounds. Are we going to kill evil Mocha soon? 820 pounds. Did you know moose are the largest species of deer in the world? Yeah, moose are terrifying. Moose are terrifying. You know what else is terrifying? Again, I've said this before. Media did not prepare me for seeing a horse in real life. Moose are, the moose are fucking scary as hell. Mocha loves to swim. Did you know moose can dive up to 20 feet underwater? I didn't know that. Mocha's favorite drink is coffee. Did you know that Mocha is the only known moose with a caffeine addiction? Horses, really? The weirdest thing is, I saw horses when I was a kid and just deleted the memory from it. Of oh, wait, hold on. It's happening again. Horses are not scary at all. Sorry, media did not prepare me for the size of a horse. Like, you think you know how big a horse is going to be, and then you see one as an adult now that you understand sizes, and it's just like, holy fuck, ask, they're huge. Mercetta will speak. Oh, that's kind of... Who is Mercetta? But the size of the horse is imposing, but I wouldn't say it's scary. Yeah, you're right about that. Sorry if I said that, I misspoke. M Mooses, meese, at the other, on the other hand, are fucking terrifying. Joe, are you a small dude? Tell me you've never seen a horse in person without telling me you've never seen a horse in person. Oh, or maybe you've seen a pony and thought it was a horse? Horses are huge, man. I have no... Then why are you disagreeing with me? They're huge. From 1913, legends say this is the dwelling place of the evil water spirit, the Naki, who lures people to their watery graves. Uh, in the early days of Watery's history, this very well was where Ilmari Hyotari hid the bodies of his victims with the help of his brother, Jacopi Hyotari. J Ooh, wait, what? It was only after Ilmari murdered his own brother that their gruesome acts came to light, but was it madness or the spirit of Naki possessing Ilmari that drove him to murder like he himself believed? These names are very similar to the brothers. Is there more to this well than meets the eye? It's a transformer. Fun fact about me, when I was a kid, I misheard the lyrics to the Transformers theme, Robots in Disguise, and I th I thought for years that it was about when the song moved to the to the airplane ones, that it was Robots in the Skies. Apparently this is common, people in chat are saying it too, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Yeah, I thought it, Robots in the Skies. What hides behind the smile? Uh, a screwdriver. That's right. I think every kid went through that. Then why did I get made fun of when I told some of my friends? Did they all realize that I was wrong at the same time and they all said, y'all, oh, here's the escape, escape Joe, here we go, even though my name's not Joe? Can't be opened on this side. 
favorite VeggieTales character? Do I know VeggieTales? Hold on. VeggieTales. VeggieTales. I do know VeggieTales. Uh, my answer is none of them. Although VeggieTales is not the worst thing that they watch. Leo is all about fucking Kazoops. I hate Kazoops so much. Every single episode is just this annoying British kid goes, like, has some completely, like, trivial problem in his life. And then he goes and talks to his pet pig, and it's always, Kazoops, Jimmy Jones, do you think that if I cared about other people's feelings, my life would be better? And then this fucking anemic fucking folk indie song plays, where they just, like, boringly fucking drum about something that's going on, and then that's the end. I fucking hate Kazoops. The pig is cute, cute though. Yeah, the cute is the pig is cute. Yeah. Now where is that safe? What is your strategy for the watermelon game tips? You want to have a lot of combinations early on, but don't rush for the biggest one just yet. You want to set it up that you don't... The most important thing is that you don't lose a whole third of the play area from having a bunch of non-combining fruit in like the bottom left or bottom right corner next to your first melon. If you do that, you're almost certainly fucked. Although there is a way to still do it. So you basically, even if it means that you stack a bunch of shit on top of the, the, the melon against the wall, you want to make sure that you have at, at least, preferably it's it's hitting the, the floor down there next to it, but you want it to be at least um, ab about halfway up to the melon of the next fruit that you're turning into the next melon to hit it. That's what you want to do. For sure. This one doesn't have one? Read? F? Re oh, okay. Really? Sorry, we're out of Bright Falls Blend. Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up, she suggested. They ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Ex Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Oh, no. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Hutori well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifted in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Oh, and smiled until her face hurt. You know what? I agree with the editor this time. That makes makes it better. Shit. Did I um not hit the button properly there or was that one not voiced by by uh, Alan? Have your kids discovered anime yet? They've watched all of Dinosaur King and they watched a little bit of Pokemon and that's about it. That's the only anime they have. Finn uh, hates Sonic, probably because I told him to. <laughs> Not directly. Hates Sonic. Jeff, I, ne I need another moose fla favor. Uh, Mocha was doing just fine. He even got a glowing vet, vet report. Oh, the moose is real! And then, bam, they say it was a heart attack. I'm not blaming you. Maybe he just had a bad ticker. No tolerance for stimulants, stimulants either. Maybe it's all the coffee? We're telling the kids that Mocha's taking a little vacation, but I could really use your help ASAP to maintain continuity. Do you have any more in stock? Thanks in advance, Ilmo. Hey, Ilmo, heads up. Got another angry voicemail from a parent about her kid poking himself in the eye with one of our souvenir pukos. Whose grand idea was it to sell kids plastic knives in a coffee themed amusement park anyway? Oh, oh right, it was yours. Uh oh. Locked. Why did you change the damn okay. password? What would Ilmo use for a code? To the safe again. I thought it was supposed. To, it was lookout fixer supplier. Who hurt you? Why are you so paranoid? <laughs> Calm down. This one's easy. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. See, not rocket science. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Uh, five, seven, nine. No. Would have been a good clip. Why is it so bright? What was it again? Tracker, lookout, cleaner? Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Right, is that a, a number with them? Or is it something to do with... Uh... I don't see a tracker. 
lookout cleaner? Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. Because these look like a keypad code here, right? Tracker. Lookout. Cleaner? 416? The security tracker? Is lost and found tracker. What would the lookout be? And lookout would be security. Remember to bring your your liability forms for Tuesdays. Bring your dog to Coffee World Day. Congratulations to Thomas for completing his first year at Coffee World. Another Thomas, as usual. This work anniversary earns you a, f a free packet of freshly ground coffee. The photos have stickers on them. Oh. Oh. The percolator is unfortunately undergoing maintenance, but don't worry, we will fix it as soon as possible. Oh, so it's not that. Have you seen the Once Upon a Time series? The one with uh, the uh, Cameron from House in it? Yes, I've seen some of that. It's actually pretty good for a little while, and then it gets really bad, and then I stop watching it. I think Lily watched the whole thing. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Tracker, lookout, cleaner. Now, if we look at their positions, tracker, lookout, cleaner. Let's say tracker is lost and found. So that'd be one that's also in position one. Six is also in position six with the coffee, but the other ones aren't the same. What would lookout be? Security? So one, one, four, six. The, the coffee stickers also match. One, four, six. One, four, six. That was it. Okay, good. Hmm. I wonder why I was immediately drawn over there. Drawn over there. Is it because of the arrangement of that, or is it just as you look up, it's the only thing that catches your eye? Hmm. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. This looks pretty good in here, doesn't it? What does Joe think of the game? It's really good so far. I like it a lot. Okay, what did I miss? Trailer. Honestly, it looks like we didn't really miss much at all. Maybe we can go here and see. Oh, point of interest over here. We missed that. I wish getting into the map was a bit faster. Uh, oh, here we go. Coffee World Review Notes. Pros. Coffee theme names for the rides. Mildly amusing. You mean amusing. Nice view of water from the top of the Ferris wheel. The mascots were trying their best. What else? Okay, coffee. Cons. Rickety rides. Creepy mood. Money hungry owner. They killed the poor moose. Two out of five stars. Everyone's a critic. I feel like your standards are a little too high. It's an amusement park in the middle of nowhere. That has to count for something. Alright, we missed this and it wasn't on the map, so that's terrifying. Should we go save it? Yeah, let's go save it. Darkness! Sorry, I kind of want to finish this coffee because we're in coffee world. Thank you, Cardi C, for the resub as well. Thank you, Cardi C. Sorry, I should have seen that when I caught back from break.
Okay, so where are we going? I want to check out this thing down here to see if we didn't miss anything there. So we're going straight down, straight down, and then next to the well, we're going to go here and see if there's something here. Okay, they do not move right. Fuck. Fuck! Oh, you drop ammo. Okay, is it down here? Yeah, it's this. One shotgun got that one. Yeah, but I needed two because I thought he was going to get staggered back further and he didn't. I wonder if exploding those red things does AoE damage to all the other zombies around it. I thought I read this. Did I not read this? That point of interest went away. Why isn't this one going away? Another cult stash? it afterwards too okay all right fair enough okay is this point of interest not disappearing because it's got something to do with finding the key, the key for that stash the smile hides something or whatever and it looks like the it looks like the outline of the well is there something around here I got nothing actually. Let's just move on. Maybe we come back with the key. Must be locked from the other side. Oh, we're not going this way. There was an exit that we didn't go through, wasn't there? Okay, I've been here long enough now that I think it's a me problem. I'm finding it very hard to parse this location in terms of a map. I wonder why that is. I feel like I'm back in Vergen. No power. Must be a fuse box around here somewhere. Should we use the healing pack? Why would we want to turn this on? Fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. Okay. Investigate my trailer. Uh, apparently, we need it for, to get to our trailer. F U N. What did N do? Exit. We didn't go through here. All right. So this is this is something new. Lost cat. 
Well, the mayor did kill all those cats. Alright, so this is going to take us back to a lighthouse. Wait, what? Hold on, where are we? Oh, damn. Lighthouse trailer park. So we can go here. But why is that got to do... Why do we have to turn something on to get into the lighthouse trailer park? Is that where Rose lives? Is that where we are? Watery? Uh, let's go down here and see the, uh, the other side. Did this motherfucker fix it while we were gone? How, how long has it been? And Ati's still singing. Sounds so good. Has Joe been using the crossbow? A little bit, yeah. I would like to use it a little bit more. There you go, it's here. Teleport. Teleport. Did you notice the lyrics? I read the lyrics, but I didn't see much significance in them, but I'm not sure if I read all of them. Find out the location of the tower on Jads and it's so fucking confusing because it's covered by clouds on previous record or gone or too pixelated. All there is on modern records is a square foundation. Uh oh. Honestly, Kay, I think maybe you've already said too much. Okay, so we can go up here to. Oh, we can go around to the Knight's Workshop. Okay, let's go and see if we can get into the trailer park. The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. <sighs> Marisetta is not afraid of the rough questions. Where is this going? There's going to be one of these later that's going to say Mayor Setter fought back the darkness or something. Mayor Setter is friends with Mr. Door. This is going to get weird. K has information that will lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Do you think at the Game Awards they're going to uh, acknowledge what happened last year? Or no? Do you think they're going to make a joke about it? Or just it, it never happened? Trailer. 
It's right there. Sweetie pie, really it's Anderson time. too. Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. Yeah. The hell, of it. <laughs> hell yeah. These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? Do they know? Where's Barry? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons. Vikings. Gods. So good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin. And this is your long lost Murfar. Tar. The fuck is going on? He is your grandfather, and I am the old <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. Did it? You have things to do, sweetie pie. Did it? We don't want to keep you from your business. Did it? Did you can come see us anytime at our resting place, Valhalla Nursing Home. Your name is Anderson. Same as you, kiddo. Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson. The old guards of Asgard. That's our band. Wait, wasn't there an Anderson in the in the home in Alan Wake One? Was that them, or was it a different Anderson? I remember seeing Anderson. Hmm. You. You are Saga Anderson. God damn it! A Viking goddess. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Tor. Odin. Saga. They fit. All Norse inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? Anderson. Did in... the horror story change their names to match mine? In the coffee. So do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. She has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration. Yeah. Hey, little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson moonshine. It's awesome. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. Hell yeah. Oh, what the hell? Tor kind of looks like one of my uncles, legit. Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay. Never mind. Interesting. Is your eye patch on the right eye? No. Whoa. That depressing tango shit is bad for your head, bro. Too much truth in it. Drags me down. Heroes tango is uplifting. Music for the soul. Okay, this place is abandoned, right? Why are you here? Because the story said you would be here. Oh no. Don't go down that road. Hello, Yako. 
Who is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you <laughs> dressed like that? Gear Fest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping! The prize says on all of our custom designed Deer Fest parade floats. Floats created by the award winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. Winners of last year's trophy for best Deer Fest float featuring an animal that is not deer. <laughs> that very team. <laughs> and you're gonna get a kick <laughs> out of our latest float designs. <laughs> We've done it all. Deer Fest floats. Restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. Oh! Our floats are the best way to impress your friends. Whatever floats your boat floats. Your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just Deer Fest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, or mitzvahs, or your connoisseur scenario. Our floats will punch up any special occasion. <laughs> but why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. Is it them again? I was at Deer Fest last year. Flows were pretty good. One of them was a swan. And that was the people liked it. <laughs> and there you have it. Award-winning boats <laughs> now at reduced prices that will... <laughs> knock you off your feet. The continuity. yours today. We'll build anything. Nice. That's a good deer. Here, Heroes Tango is the song that plays on the ropeway in Control. Do you think I remember where the the ropeway was? Oh, look at that mixer. Oh man, that thing will run forever. That thing will never break. Okay, this place is quite clean. Are people still living here or what? on the line from our lovely sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. Gil, any thoughts on those crochet dog sweaters? You need to stop. Hey, what's that? Just stop. Whatever this is you're doing, stop. Well, I'm not sure I understand, Gil. There's no such thing as Davis Family Beef Jerky. Wait, what? I don't sell beef jerky. I've never made beef jerky. I don't particularly like beef jerky. I'm getting crazy phone calls for jerky orders, day and night. Uh, open a business. I'm confused old ladies all over this goddamn town on the hunt for imaginary beef jerky, asking for insane flavors like hickory teriyaki, which clearly isn't a thing. Could be. If you don't sell beef jerky, then somebody needs to tell your lovely wife, Wendy, because she's out there at the market every Sunday selling it. Wendy is dead, Pat. No, that's, that's, that's not right. I, I just saw Wendy at the, at the market last weekend. Wendy went missing 13 years ago, Pat. They found her body. She's dead. 
We're trying to make peace with that, and you're making it so much harder with all this goddamn beef jerky bullshit. No, that's, that's just not true. She's there. Every weekend, I see her there. This joke's gone far enough. Now go get Wendy on the line so we can have a laugh about this. <laughs> She's fucking dead, Pat. Stop. Gil? Uh, I, 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 I think we're out of time. Uh, dog sweaters from a Sunday market. And, yeah, Pat Main signing off. Aww. Okay, well, I understand. There's got to be a better way to handle that, though. Clearly, Pat is having a rough time. Alright, I'll try and turn it up when we get to the radios. They're a bit quiet. I would love it if, like, two more radio shows from now, they actually do have Wendy on the phone. And they're like, haha, we got you. <laughs> Dear Mom, as I promised, I'm writing you now... Uh, writing to you now that we've settled in, we're doing great and busy as ever. The, uh, the big city. Jim's working hard and landed a promotion. We're going to celebrate by going to a hot new restaurant that Connie recommended. Laura's doing well in school. So she'll have her pick of any college with the grades she's been getting. So proud of my little girl. I've been making our apartment into a home. Training staff plus shopping for furniture. Who knew finding a decent... Ch what? I don't know what that word is. Chase... Chase Lounge? Lounge? What's that? I don't know what that is. Would be so hard. All going well. Don't you worry about us. Hope all is well with you too. Love, Megan. Alright, so Megan's lying. Hmm. And also is pumping some serious iron. Holy crap. While listening to Pat. Why are these radios on? Coordinates is where the tower is located and my, my work is done. Pray for me. Go check it out, Kay. Go check it out. Joe, I just did a Cash 22 and it was really good. Like 13 Sentinels, but worse. Wow. Wow. I need bolt cutters. You need bolt cutters. And I like 13 Sentinels too, but I didn't like it enough. The weebs still want to hit hard. Must defend the weeb game. Remember it controls weird switch to the ocean view metal that's carried into this game with the light statue? The weird musical sequences in that one that are not better in this game. Controls, documents, interrupted the game flow, so now everything is integrated into the world. Studios can iterate and make games bigger and better as they go on, huh? Something, something, Starfield. Yeah, I know, yeah. I, I, I agree completely. And I want to keep saying it, but I don't, I don't want to keep dunking on Bethesda. It's incredible what happens when you give a shit and not just about money. Reeks of booze. Money's important, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of these people that says, that thinks that artistic integrity should come above all things 100% all the time. There is a, a, a realism and, and a compromise that has to be hit. Um, realism might not be the right word, but, you know, you still should give a shit. Murder at the Manor House, an architectural mystery by Margaret Formo? Because I know you love a good pun, Ilmo. A pun book from Ilmo. What does it say? Are we close in the story? Excellent. That might explain some of his behavior. Excellent puns for the comedy hen in your life. Ah, nice. Oh, I didn't even need to do it. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Agent Anderson, our deepest condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you we are committed to your well-being and will allow the time needed for your recovery from this tragedy. The FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to welcome you back as soon as you're ready. We could use that insightful mind of yours, as so we hope to see you back in our ranks soon. Warm regards, uh, Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Mara. All right. This is, um, 
this is getting more interesting to me. I thought that that line about Rose would be like the classic little plant a seed, and then at, and and it wouldn't be resolved until the very very end of the game with the whoa. But no, they're they're incorporating it more as the story goes on, and it's and it's growing into perhaps one of Saga's main plot points. Interesting. All right, where's this going? Criminal Criminal Justice: A Critical Look at the Broken System by R. Moreau. Sorry, Remedy's biggest fan is saying that Annie is wrong. The reason why they weren't integrated into the world such as much as much as control, most likely because the game is more focused on its action, so they ironically didn't want to break the flow by having to wait for, for long combat to pick up the documents. Yeah, Annie, you didn't engage in enough critical thinking about how the how the game would uh, would play if it changed. Something about what that that is a picture of her. Why aren't we commenting on that? Huh. Alright, this is kinda of spooky. I don't know what the fuck I would be doing if I was in Saga's shoes right now. Maybe I would just get in the car and drive back to see if my daughter was still there? When are the phone calls happening? The phone calls feel like they're coming from a different time period. Addressed to me. From years ago. Wake this... was right. The horror story is changing reality. Not just people's memories. Anderson Moonshine. This is... Remarkably well preserved, isn't it? Look, everything's so clean. This card has mom's handwriting. A little bird told me that it's your birthday, so be sure to give yourself some special tweetment. I love you, Logan. Grandma F. Oh. How many grandmas are there? Washington Power, make, sh make check payable to Washington Power Co. P.O. Box 4220. Olympia, whatever. Account amount due on or before 2018. It's 2018 and you haven't set up automatic payments for that? What, what the fuck are you doing? Washington Power, Saga Anderson, uh, 6 Watery Lighthouse Trailer, Parkway, Unit 2. Whoa. Uh. Norms? It's 2023, these are old. Yeah, 20, that that would not be in that good condition. And is that a, a mistake or... Is it 2023 in, in this game right now? Because that's a long time for this to just be sitting out in, in this good condition. This looks fresh. Mistake or is it new because reality is being rewritten? Here reminds me of Logan. Night this could be her room. This is getting too real. Yeah, this is uh too personal. This is cool. Chani Ch Chani Chu, the wildlife of the Pacific Northwest, Nordic Tales and the folklore. The Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. The kind stranger, the very old house, the ribbon-hearted girl. Bon. Logan used to love her music. True Colors! 2018 tour. Logan's junior agent certificate. So cute. Congrat congratulations to the Bureau's newest recruit, Logan Anderson. You have successfully completed junior agent training. another Peppa Pig house. Actually, you know what? This looks like a different kind of house. I'm pretty sure this is based off a toy that the kids have. It folds out in the exact same way. My newfound relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carlyvala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. A new lead. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. Uh 
Uh oh. No. Heartbreaking tragedy, nine year old. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's, She's thinking fine. this, not saying it. Huh. Fuck. She's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon... Mulligan. It's a cop wearing a mask. It could be anybody. Whoa, who the fuck is that? Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? One second, I want to go back in and read that paper. A heartbreaking oh, tragedy. Uh, there's no way I'm reading this right. Saga Anderson was. Uh, I, I can't. So many accidents. It's very hard. If you zoomed it in, maybe. Did you get it in your mind palace? Oh, yeah, maybe we did. Let's check there. Uh, where would that be? Case board? Prof oh, there's profiling left to do. I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Okay, this is kind of breaking the flow of the scene. Let's not do this right now. The music is supplying tension. Let's not ruin the moment. The cult of the tree. Oh, it's Thornton too. Thornton too? God damn it. And now they're all taken? Again and again. Who would make this? Hiwatari butchered his victim with his Puko knife. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is oh, where they had the clicker. It's where they but make the floats. Here. I need to find it. They'll make a giant dick float. I want to see the dick float. Okay, you know what? A little controversial chat, but you know what? I'm going to heal. I'm doing it. I'm healing. We have a lot. I'm going to heal.
you've changed. Well, we're getting a bit full on inventory, and usually when I get full on inventory, I will start using things. In a lot of games, ironically, there's this period, this buffer period, where I have to fill up on inventory, and then once everything's maxed, everything I find from then on becomes like, oh, I got some healing, like, like an actual, just normal system. <laughs> here we go. Or is there saving here, or what? Oh, chair, live chair reaction? No, nope, chair move. Uh, re -sauna night. Should we read it from top to bottom or bottom to top? Oh, shit. Hello, I've seen some of you uh, place our stashes in the open. Please don't do that, you rascals. Oh, it is their stashes. This is your final warning to stop taking the oop out of the assembly hall. You want to get s drunk in the workshop? Fine, but the oop is for ritual use only. You idiots are worse than my kids. Just, just ritual things. Hi, Uncle Ilmo. Hope you're well. Charlie and, and I still haven't received our paychecks. Oh, there were the coffee mascots in town from last month's Coffee World promo work. Are you sure you sent them? Could you double check? Maybe they slipped through the cracks. Also, Charlene wanted me to tell you that her suit still smells weird. Charlie. Uh-oh. Float work. The deer fest. What? What is with the weird kind of... Is that RTX? Look how it kind of... It bleeds from one to the other. You seen that? The deer fest floats are eating up our space. Try to keep things neat and tidy around the workshop, okay? I can't find my tools. I can't even find my left hand, even though it's attached to me. But I will find my boot up somebody's ass if you keep taking all. If you keep making a mess. Hello, fellas. I suggest we start a regular sauna at night now that the old place is working again. What's the best time for it? How about a classic Saturday night session? I'll bring my, the sausage and mustard, but bring your own bob. Ilmo. Sat sauna Saturdays on a Saturday. Not everyone enjoys frying themselves to death, Ilmo. Who would pick mustard over ketchup? W mustard is zero calories. It has a lot of flavor. Goes well with a little bit of ketchup. W what the fuck are you talking about? S Mustard's the best. Ilmo, ignore Fred. He doesn't have what it takes, and he's wrong about ketchup too. Obviously, chili mayo or, or nothing. Hi, hey Ilmo, I can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup. Doesn't help me, Jacko. Thanks everyone for your valuable input. I'm assuming that means Saturday sauna night is on. Sauna is good for the body and good for the soul. You may not like it, but it likes you. And all condiments are welcome, of course. Is sa are saunas good for you? Or is it just like whatever? <laughs> this not me, Merrick. <laughs> Look inside the smiley coffee cup. All right, where is it? Locked. Okay, here we they go. They must be in there. All right. There has to be a way to get this lock open. Double triangle. Triangles moving apart from each other, and then we just lock into the next one. No. Nope. Saga, how are they in there? And then they locked it behind them? What are you talking to, Bootlove? Thank you to Tophers for the resub. Thank you very much, Tophers. And thank you, Jocelyn, for the new sub. At tier 2. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. Welcome, welcome. Why do I say welcome twice every time? Welcome, welcome. Oh, there was a real bolt next to all the darts. Alright, look inside the smiley coffee. Is this on the other side of it? Or up there? Oh. Alright. So, ah, all right. So, normal triangle stacked on top of an inverted, then that one, and then, uh, okay, let's see if I remember that. Normal triangle stacked on top of an inverted, uh, that one, and then... They were moving away from each other, weren't they? That one? No. What was the last? That one. There we go. Okay. Did we miss anything around here? 
I have a feeling we're going to be able to explore this area again later once we have all the tools, so let's not be too thorough about it. We can do a side quest mop-up if we feel the need. This is the cult hideout. Their headquarters, even? What's the cult's endgame? Okay, but the cult is nice and bright in here. Don't they hate light? Hmm. There's a basement. Uh-oh. That light switch you found washed up at the lake is not junk. It's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we're going to cut its, out its heart, stick this thing inside, and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's it'll be like a ritual. This is going to work. What? Okay, are they trying to kill the darkness and we're getting them mixed up or what? The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. Ah, I'm not trying to play the blame game, but we cannot let random tourists walk into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. Hell, the lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacceptable. So let's look at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. Slip-ups like this are why we have FBI agents snooping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because I know we can do better. All right, so are they stopping the monsters before they can become monsters? Because this was the first one that did this, right? The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Yeah, I'm starting to think the cult is fighting the darkness, and it's something's gone wrong. This will be handy. This is the cult's process. Their ritual. Step one: surround the t ritual for taken. Surround the target, subdue them, use hammer or other blunt object, restrain them, carve out their heart, recite the words, put the clicker into their chest, flick the switch twice to make sh to make sure it works. Remember floodlights on tripods. We need to see what we're doing. Always work in pairs. I've marked the map like you asked. That's all the stashes by our last count, locked and loaded and ready to go. The Read. cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. Oh well, it is a cult. To whoever has been sabotaging lake house equipment, stop it. You're not looking for ways to help the cult. It, sorry, if you're looking for ways to help the cult, this is not it. Unless bringing the feds down on us is what you consider helpful, in which case you can fuck right off. Stay away from the FBC, and if you see them poking around again, report it to the Grand Master. Uh-oh. Grand Master? Alright, should we do some storyboarding? Don't need to go over all this again. figured all this out already. Haven't done this in a while. So this goes here, and that goes uh, there. Uh, Sorry, app apparently I had some filing to do. Apparently I had like tw 25 new files to put in the folders. Alright. Alright, is this done or not? Read. To whoever's been sabotaging those with equipment. Alright, cult psychology. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're pretty shit. Note detailing the steps of the cult ritual. Uh, goal? No. Nope. No? Interrupted. Photo of Tor and Odin with the cultists. Who was involved? Remember, Wake, he remembers writing many pages while in the dark place. Wake is involved. What, do, what are you talking about? Wait, what? What the fuck does this go? Writing? Oh, writing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry, I was having a drone. Didn't even read this one. The cult could be follows a scratch. They have the clicker after all. Uh, who's involved? Victims are like <laughs> animals. What? That's not right. Yeah, that's not right. I don't, I'm just guessing at this point. Hunt them and gut them. Cult psychology? Okay. Alright, wake the cults could be followers of Scratch. They have the clicker after all. So what is the what kind of cult? <clears throat> cult symbols? More cult psychology? 
cult goal. Cult working for with someone. All right, so that's that. All right, so we did that. So we have a lot more. We have a lot to go through here. All right. Why work for scratch? What does the cult get out of it? Uh, this confirms ritual is interrupted. It says they didn't have time to use the clicker. If wake is the origin of the pages, then no cult connection unless the cult is working with scratch. Tor and Odin are clearly friendly with the cult of the tree, not conclusively members. They just hang out. Dehumanizing their victims, they are, they are the predators, the victims are just prey. No, I don't think so. Seems that, seems our cultists aren't totally aligned here. Don't, don't sound like the true believer types. Okay, what's with the triangles? Is it because it can make trees? Two on top looks like trees. Should I do some more while we're doing this or no? Hold on, maybe we can get some more right now. Observ observation report subject the cult of the tree summary intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group knows the cult of the tree shows that their operation is limited to the small area of washington state the group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools overall level of organization is low overall comprehension of, of redacted is low our assessment yielded a category orange risk status further inquiry should be made as to the exact details and sources of their knowledge regarding paranatural elements investigation unit recommends the cult of the tree be kept under permanent surveillance with preparations made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets see file whatever for full report and recommended action summary and full report to be forwarded to dr marmot and dr marmot there's there's two there's two dr marmot okay at the did they clone did a SCP make two of them at the Cauldron Lake Research uh, Site as both operate in a shared area? Addendum. Recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance. No rest due to prioritization of resources. You were right. These sneaky fuckers are watching us. And our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> She's that waitress from the diner. Ooh. Rose Marigold observations three twenty one fourteen. What? Lee's car. Lee's home and car arrives at Odeer Diner. Opens restaurant. Spills a cup of coffee. Stares at coffee puddle and seems suddenly delighted. Begins taking talking animate animatedly to the puddle. Observer not in diner. Did not hear her. Goes on break. Back from break. Ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook. Couldn't see text. What a monster. Stares at ceiling fan for approximately 50 seconds smiling. Leaves oh dear diner on foot. Stops at pier and writes in notebook. Stares at clouds and becomes upset. <laughs> Shaking her head and speaking up at the sky, not close enough to hear. Leaves pier, arrives at car, enters, arrives home, watches TV, cooks dinner, macaroni and cheese, watches TV while eating, goes to bed, reads the sun stop, turns off light. This is one weird cult. Yeah, it's it's because it makes trees, the triangles. We are the cult of the tree. We watch in the night. I see it now. This is our mission. Make the woods scary again. <laughs> <laughs> to keep people away from the monsters that are there it's a tree a spruce tree keep them out keep them safe together we are a forest cult of the tree okay a creepy basement Good time to do the rest of the board. Do you think so? Check board for map. I got the map. Did I not? I thought I got the map. Okay. I missed the map. Alright, let me go back. The way you read reminds me of Zach Scott. I don't know who that is. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? If it's a good thing, thank you. If it's a bad thing, I'm sorry. That's it. That's it. I missed this one then. Sorry. Okay, so let's do case board. Um, what did we miss? Drug fueled scribbles on origin of the the cult triangle symbol. That's cult symbols. Seriously, this would almost be funny if they weren't killing people. They're not, though. They're not. Report on Rose Marigold found in Cult HQ. All right, who's involved? 
Rose Marigold. Why did the FPS dip hard there? Rose is that waitress from the diner. Is she involved in the cult? Okay, so what do we want to do now? Different cults? Murder at Cauldron Lake? That one's done, is it not? This one's finished, I'm sure. Alright. How do I know if it has a new one? The yellow? Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Hard to tell, bud. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, which parts of are false, which, if any, are real? Ah, I like the if any. She really is taking this seriously, huh? According to Wake, the story is changing people's memories. That's why they think they know me, but I'm not a character. I'm real. Need to start, need to track what's part of the story and what isn't. Hmm. Connection to Tor and Odin. So the story is giving me wacky relatives now. S still, there's something off about these guys. My life in watery. And rose. Finally, someone appreciates my jokes, but seriously, what kind of life did I live here? Logan is not dead, but what else did the story change about her life? Knowing might help me fight this thing. What's the clicking on this? Find evidence. Okay, so... Oh, that's how much evidence there is? There's four for this one, six for this one, and uh, eight for that one. Yellow... Cl okay, that's for Logan. No. Logan's not dead. Oh! Interesting. We just scratched that out. No, this is just a story trying to hurt me. It's not real. I remember this. It was take your daughter to work day. Logan was maybe eight. This happened. There was a weird tower out in the middle of uh, Isle of Wight. Logan loves Bon. I took her to a concert in DC for her 12th birthday. This isn't fake. 12th. <clears throat> Mom gave this to Logan when she was a baby. The stories are a bit scary, but she loved the pictures. This is real. I don't recognize the card, but that's definitely Mom's handwriting, so that one might not be real. Think. Okay, these ones are here. My life in watery. Did we miss one back in the house? Anytime I ask Mom about her home or family, she shut down. I have no idea who my grandparents are. Plot hole. Looks like it was a present. Were we close? The bill is in my name, dated February 22nd, 2018. In the story, I took a leave of absence from the Bureau. Okay, so that's all those. What else is there? Uh, the story, cult stashes, nursery rhymes, Alex Casey lunchboxes. Okay, I don't give a shit about those just yet. Let's do this one. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Ooh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wake wrote a book in the dark place. I actually really like these sections. It were called Return. Scratch edited it into a horror story. The story's events are slowly coming true. But Wake knew that Scratch would edit it. So he purposely did. Logan's fictional room contains her actual mementos. Mm. Uh, this one, yeah. There is an entity inside the dark place called the Dark Presence. Okay. How... How do you know about this? Wake was trapped in the dark place for 13 years. Maybe it's just a, a picture for us or her intuition. Wake said, Wake, Scratch and the Dark Presence are interchangeable. Wake, in the, f in the form of, the, of Scratch, Dark Presence is editing Wake's story. It wants to turn the world into a fucking nightmare. Flashlight seems to weaken Taken. Uh, Dark Presence? Yeah, Light and Dark Presence. Inside, oh, I know, where, I know that one goes here because it just opened. Yeah! Stealth. Well-lit areas are safe from the Dark Presence and the Taken. It would make sense that Light is effective against the Dark Presence too. 
Uh, fiction coming into contact with a dark place has the power to change reality. Uh, dark place or dark... That's dark place, right? It's not. Dark presence. It's not. It's that one. I knew. It. I was just pretending to be stupid. Uh, wake. The story changes our reality a bit by bit. The process is gradual. Oh. Is it, though? Some other strange reality, the dark place merged with orange with ours. This place and the dark place uh, call this the overlap. The overlap. The overflap. How to enter. For later. Oh. Uh, should I have one then? So whatever you write in the dark place becomes reality, it can't be that simple. Maybe Wake can't invent wholly new ideas, has to use what, what exists or what already exists. Um... I don't know about that. That means the effect isn't immediate. There's still time to fix it. Maybe he can't... Most of the time he can do that. But I think he can make something wholly new. Wake is in another world that entire time. Well, I guess it, it becomes a philosophical question at that point. What is wholly new? Hmm. Let's see how it goes. According to Wake, the dark presence can sometimes take his appearance. How? Why? Page describes the overlap being related to a dark place where, where Wake was. The poem uh, was about a local legend, a witch's lost heart, about terror. Uh, when the Dark Presence looks like Wake, it goes by the name Scratch. An evil twin is a bit convenient. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay, well, I obviously can't let that happen. But you double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Cool. Last time it didn't happen all at once. This is really well put together. By bit as it unfolded. Okay, light is effective. The clicker. Scratch just needs the clicker to make his ending into reality. Can't let that happen. A magic light switch. Where do I even start with that? Okay. All right. Gives us two days to stop it. World into a fucking nightmare. Okay, where are you getting the two days from? That that I don't understand. All right, I think that's it. Right, we did everything. Is there any more profiling? Doesn't look like it. No. Alright, so uh, I kind of need to pee, and we're very close to um, to get, well, we're about to go into a new area down here that looks like it might take a while, so let's just take a quick break right now, and I'll be right, be right back. Uh, no no uh, underground music this time, sorry. Be right back. Five minutes.
That was uh, Underground from the Deadly Premonition soundtrack, the first time we've ever played it on the stream. Re Allen can't make new, fully new things. The text of the games describe the hiss as close enough to the type of thing the Dark Presence is, so that's why he was able to bring it to all this house. Yeah, that's what I kind of mean from, um, or so, kind of, that's what I, it's not kind of, that's what I meant. That's what I meant when I said, um, about it being more of a philosophical question of what even is new. If you're looking at something and, sh and creating something based on that, to me, that could be interpreted as making something new. So it depends on how you're, you're understanding or how you're following along with what was said there. Because on the one hand, you'd be like, oh, you can't make anything new, but you can turn something that already exists into a whole new entity that's based off of them. Or does it mean that you can't make any, you can't make a new person, but you can change someone's life that already exists into something new and spin them off into something else, you know? Um, I think it, uh, it depends on what they're going to go with. And my guess is that they're going to they're gonna tiptoe around defining it clearly or cleanly let's see do we want to put anything in the shoe box the uh weapons are really taking up a big big amount of space huh we only have two slots mm, looks pretty good are we ever gonna use painkillers yeah maybe A fuse. Oh, a fuse. I can use this to get the Espresso Express working. Okay, why would we want to do that? Man, I missed that. Favorite Goosebumps book? I'm not sure what my favorite is, but the most memorable one is 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 the uh, one about the comic book. If you know, you know. Big cliffhanger cliffhanger ending. I wonder if they ever wrote a sequel to that one. Hey! Freeze! That's the clicker. Um. For no reason at all, let's drop a flare. No! They took it! They're playing with me. I was so close. Who was that?
There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here. Like there was at Cauldron Lake. Uh-oh. Mulligan and Thornton are like Nightingale. Inside. Waiting. And a parade float is the key. Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there. Taken the clicker with them. Left this monster here to stop her. I want to play the game, but I'm kind of worried about jump scares like that. Uh, they don't really work on me, and, and jump scares usually do work on me. I wonder if I'm learning from this game that jump scares are mostly effective on me if they come with a audio audio prep. Like, there has to be this audio buildup of, like, oh, is there going to be, is there... Even though that's a warning, and, like, it's telegraphing the jump scare, for some reason, maybe it, it works better. Because when it's all of a sudden, I'm just, like, it doesn't phase me at all. Like, I, I'll just keep on drinking my coffee. Like, it's like, okay, let's just keep going. Which is strange. You would think it would be the opposite, right? Hmm. Anyway, thank you, uh, Zark Zarkorn, for the new sub. Welcome, Zarkorn. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. And thank you, P. Mastripolito. Mastripolito. Lito. No, it's the Lito. Why did I add an O? It's, it's a new pronunciation every time. Zach, did you see that? 33 months, Zach. Amazing. You know what's what that's close to, Zach? The famous comedy film starring Leslie Nielsen. That's right, Zach. The Naked Gun. 33 and a third. Haven't seen any of those. Oh. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree, the forest, the word, a secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. It's not a tree, it's a forest. Okay, so did anyone see these two after they went into the morgue when we left them? Did they get norded while we, when we left them behind? That sucks. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. Yeah, here we go. How did this happen? A terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Because of the sandwich. Hmm. A taken is upstairs. This was a trap. Well, they're not allowed in the safe room. They're not allowed in the safe room. This safe room has a has a save in it, so they're not allowed in this safe room. Safe room. Parade float. Okay, what if I didn't have any uh any batteries though? 
It must give you one back. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem in the heart to the witch sign, opened the overlap. Here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. Ilmos, Ilmos stood in front of the parade float, turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving, stab, 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 and the Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe, not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art, will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to craft in the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. Okay, what I don't understand is that this is entirely scratched out. But Alan still read this part. Hmm. Have you done a charmless demon bell run of Sekiro? No, I haven't. I find it makes it easier to point out flaws in the game when overly similar startups cause a one-shot death and such. Oh, FromSoft's going to hate you saying that. FromSoft fans are going to hate you saying that. Uh, yeah, uh, playing games on the hardest of release settings like that is usually a great way to find flaws like that. I agree. I haven't done a run like that, no. It wouldn't surprise me if some of that shit was in Sekiro, yeah. And you don't notice it if you're able to take some hits. Yes, I'm pressing the button, but it's not broadcasting. That green light is supposed Okay, let me turn up a bit. Sorry, uh, this is, the radios are really quiet in this game. To be read. You, which light? This one here. Donna's grandson wrote down instructions for me, but I, I can't for the life of me remember where I put them. You sure you're not on the air? Norman? Yeah, green means off, red means on. Or was it? No, that, that's right. I, I need a red light here. Oh, have you tried just uh, mashing all these buttons? Oh, fast race. That, that's. Which button did you press? This one right here. Nope, that wasn't it. I'm going to call Donna's grandson. Hello? <laughs> Tapio? Sorry, I, I, I misdialed. No, you didn't. I was still on the line. Can we get Tapio off the line? I need to call Donna's grandson. <laughs> Must be all this rain botching up your connection. If it gives up that bunker out back could flood again. The girl drowned in that bunker last time it flooded. No, no, that girl drowned in Cauldron Lake. Wrong. That was the Anderson girl. Different girl. Can we please focus on making the green light red? What about this button here with the sticky note that says on off? Yes, that's the one. Okay, let's press that and see if it... <laughs> I'm having a great time with this chat. This is a good time. Oh, a good time. Another one of those lunch boxes. It must be so exciting to be the story's hero. Honestly, I'm a bit jealous. I wish I could be the protagonist of something. Can you say nah to prove me right? Prove you right about what? That I can say nah? Nah. Nah? Nah. Which one? Which one do you want? Nah. Do, do, do. Thank you, Ken She Runs. Or Ken She Runs. One of those. So, new sub, welcome, welcome. And thank you, QZXLYT. Kizlixit. For the new sub as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Okay, so we got the pages. Do we, do we have to look this at all this? This is one disturbing parade float. Yeah. Stabbing again and again. So true, Umfi, so true. No, I don't want to do the case board, not yet. Let's, let's connect them all. Collect them all. Hatching haunting laughter echoed up from the well. I don't hear any haunting laughter. Did you get the fuse? I did, yes. What are his victims with the... Not sure what Puko means, but... It looks like the knife is missing. All right, so we need to find the knife. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? All right, we need to find a mask, a knife. Oh, and we get—I bet you—we get the the recorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, with the coffee dude and put it in here to make the laughter. Oh, that's such a cool way of using that. I hope we do that. That's so cool. All right, what do we want? Swung the knife again and again, and we need to make it put a battery on here to make it move. So this is the Koskala Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. Have you pay, played Gunbrella or Sifu? If not, do you plan on playing either? I would like to play Sifu. I have never heard of Gunbrella. Gift shop. Easy. Gift shop, okay. Espresso Express. Got it. All right. I can't make out what it says. The mask. Fair trade fun zone. Okay, but, but why? There we go. Now I just need to stop it in a position that will let me get to that circuit board down there. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, that's good. There was no other way to do this? This this is it, is it not? No, it's not? Alright, we keep going. It's it's not it. It's not it. Do we need to go take the, the fuse out? What 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 do we do? Got it connected on the board to work. Oh, is it because we haven't done the thought process yet? No. Oh. Alright, let's see if that does it. I don't think that should do it. I think we know already what we're supposed to be doing, but let's find out. What what case are we doing? Trial of the cult. Don't need to go over all this again. Clicker at the garage. How to get clicker back. Parade needs float. Parade float has sound. The moose skull mask. The character should be moving. Okay, mask. The float killer isn't wearing a mask. Maybe he needs one. The float killer used a knife. Art imitating life is missing a soundtrack. Uh. Really? Okay, this one? Or what's that one? Okay. I figured out what the float is missing. Okay, circuit board controls arm movement. So we figured it out, but the character didn't. All right. 
Where's the mask? So we have the profile, what's the say? So is it going to be there now? Oh, it is. Okay. Eh, oh, whatever. Okay, I kind of don't like that, though. Shit. Good thing no one was riding that. How are we getting out? Oh, it, it did it for us. Okay, cool. Uh oh. The killing of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well, like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them, like cancer. The darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. What's the consensus? Is the game ass? Yes, but I love ass. Will this hurt? Turn this off, please. No more sounds. Oh, God. Is that a bug? What happened? I need some ammo. Yes! Alright, well done, game. That's good. Oh, I really like this. Ah, someone cooked. And I'm hungry. Good job. lost power for like a microsecond and sometimes I lose internet during that. We still here? Yeah? Okay, let's just give it a second because the stream might go down. Unfortunately. Uh, there's lost snow in Moncton, which usually we lose power with the first snow. that noise do, 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 
All right, we want to go to the gift shop, and we need to do a, a profiling for the mask. And I don't know about... I don't remember seeing this. Oh, we're going back toward it. God damn it. Vovon's do gift shop. Oh, fucking hell. I'm so turned around. Call me Mark Simpson because I love you, homie. Thank you, uh, Kafka. Thank you. Yeah, I'm completely lost. Is it because I don't want to go past the wall again? Too fast to see. Motorcycle club! Oh, shit! Yeah. Okay, so you can reload with the crossbow a lot faster if you uh, spacebar dodge out of it. Like, a lot faster. Like, that's probably a glitch going to be patched out faster. Holy fuck, are you seeing that? Oh, you can do it with the... with the pistol, too. What about the shotgun? All right, where is the the gift shop? All right, yeah, so I don't want to go near the well is what's happening here. So I go up here and up there. And the reason I don't want to go near the well is because there's a bug sound over there that is squealing. Yep, there it is. I guess a toy knife will do. Will it? Serious question: Would Saga Anderson survive Freddy's Fazbear's Pizzeria? I I know nothing about Five Nights at Freddy's, so I can't answer that. Sorry, maybe a lot of people in chat can't. I know nothing about it. Apart from the song by the Living Tombstone, Five Nights at Freddy's or whatever, which is a kind of a banger. Five Nights at Freddy's is not a banger. It is a banger. It's kind of a banger. Spooky Scary Skeletons is their best song. Alright, did this fix the sound? Seems like it. Have you seen the 20 hours of game theories Matt Pat has done on NFNAF? Do I look like I know what a Matt Pat is? I have not, no. Uh, Alright, so profiling. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. <laughs> Mocha will live on in the place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. 
Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Musco mask is. Okay. Does that help me? Oh, okay. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Moose steak is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. But do they know that we know that they know? Thornton kind of an asshole. Where is the mask? Don't even bleach it. We all bow to him. The mark of the crumbling well. Show the bitch who's mom. Down the well? The moose mask is at the Huatari well. In Coffee World. Okay. Yeah, profiling. I saw something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. Intuition. The well, here in Coffee World. I know the moose skull will be there. Yeah, so there you go. It's 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 blatantly calling it out now. It's some weird supernatural force that she doesn't understand. Or it's uh, supernatural power. It's we we killed you already! Oh, there's someone new. Yeah, you can you can animation cancel into uh, every weapon seems like. Wait, what? This wasn't here before. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. Oh, oh it's you can't even carry it around. Oh, this is interesting. Skull goes here, obviously. Yeah, obviously, dog. There's your knife. Some creepy laughing for atmosphere. And what is the wire? There? A little something to get those arms moving. Okay, do we want to heal? I think we probably do want to heal before we go down there. Let's heal. Actually, you know what? We should use the painkillers to heal, because they have a little uh, heal over time component to them. Yeah. Alright, there we go. And we have all these weapons. A little low on ammo, to be honest. I'm not really happy about our ammo situation, but we are playing on hard, so... Maybe that's the intended feeling you're supposed to have. You're always kind of low on ammo. Last time, the boss down there um, had ammo caches all over the shop. So maybe we can get some from that. We also might have to turn ray tracing off when we get down there. Last time, this effect really fucked us. Here we go. Defeat Mulligan and Thornton. Where am I? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh. Neat, alright. 
What are we cooking? No map for this area, right? Yeah, no map. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue. Shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I'll make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Whoa. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan oh, and Thornton. Oh, Mulligan was bad Simon, too. They grinned. Sauna. Oh, is this... Is this the town? No, it doesn't look like it. Mm, maybe? We going in the water? Where are we going? No, we're not going in the water. getting hot in here again sorry let me turn the AC back on it's not for me it's for the computer I don't want the computer to overheat it's really dark huh? yeah I like it I like that it's so dark I played Fallout 3 once with a mod that made darkness actually truly dark, and it changed the whole vibe of the game. It's amazing how sensitive games are to little tweaks. Can we go up there? We can also go up there. Hmm. Let's go up this way. Whoa! It's cold. I'm tired. Logan? Logan! I'm here! Mom. Logan! That was fucked up. Uh -oh. The story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. I'm this way in the other overlap. It's a loop. Just like before. I thought Alan was out of the dark place. Did he go back in? I think some of the parts we're seeing is uh, non-linear. Ooh, cool. Man, the atmosphere of this game. Or not, not non-linear in terms of the narrative. Non-linear in terms of um, the chronology is like literally fucked. 
for uh, from our perspective, we dragged Alan out of the dark place right after we gave him the heart. But from Alan's perspective, he did a bunch more shit after that. But who knows how much time passed when uh, when Anderson went through there, right? And who knows how time even works in the dark place. Okay, seems like we just go back down again. What if there's gonna be something horrible waiting for us in the bottom of the well? Yeah, there this we go. Is a nightmare. Okay. I actually jumped at that one. <laughs> Did it show on my voice? I actually jumped at that one. Alright, well done. I can't get through that. I need to look for another way through. Pat? Ooh. Wait, what's that? Casey? Wait, is it Saga's dance number now? So you went and joined the FBI. <laughs> Hello? the ammo. Alright, where are we going? Wait, hold on. Alright, so these ones stay the same color. Alright, back the way we came. different on the damage, huh? Hmm, alright. I wonder if maybe playing the first game kind of fucked me for terms of expectations on the gameplay here, because I, I'm, I'm waiting to get a perfect dodge instead of just dodging normally, like I would normally would in a game, and I feel like what, I'm starting to do that a bit more now, and the flow with the gameplay is a bit better. Instead of just waiting and, and doing the cinematic dodges, which do exist, I've, I've done a couple in this stream for the first time, I think. Oh, we're going in here, okay. Ati? Wait, is Ati behind this? No, Ati, my beloved, no! <laughs> like just like <laughs> Alright down here light on Alright we're good Oh it's blood now Cool Trapped how What does that mean? What does that mean?
Oh, this is blood. This game slaps, man. This is so good. Wait, hold on. <gasps> Alright, is the sauna gonna be full of blood? Is this even any different? Typewriter? Okay, that's pretty rhythmic. Is that someone typing ooh ha 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 sha ooh ha 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 sha? Probably, right? Alright, ammo. Shoe box. Is there a, a save? Or is there an auto save here? Alright. Um I don't think we want anything else. We have enough healing. We have enough Should we take a flare? We're not really using the flares. Let's try it. Let's, let's take a... Oh, what is that? That's not a flare. That's... What is that? Hand flare? Rocket flare? Single shot flare inflicts heavy damage in a large area on impact. How... How doth one use a rocket flare? Is it like a flare you shoot? Let's save that. Looks like the moon's up there somewhere. Valder, but we can't see it. Fishing in the well. Oh, that was easy. This is working. What the hell? John Wick! They're gonna keep spawning until we get rid of these, right? Not again! Together now. Progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep going. Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past? 
when he was still trapped in the dark place. Yeah, I think so. What if the edits are actually Alan and the original is Scratch? I have the clicker. And that's why he's not on the typewriter typing it when he when he narrates them. Oh, we have the clicker now. Okay, cool. He found a special pen. Boom, boom. Would you consider not that dodge canceling reloads? It seems unintentional. You think so? Maybe. What is this copy cuxta that people are talking in chat? What, what the hell is this about Gollum? I like this music. Pseudo regalia is the kind of game you'd enjoy, I think. Put on your radar if you like. Can you DM me the, uh, the page? Ooh. Continue. Continue. Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls to right, Casey and Wake. That was a pretty good sequence. I, I enjoyed that sequence. Casey. The gameplay combat boss part at the end was kind of you know whatever, but it was um, it was a, a an entertaining sequence I think. I don't really know what you could do for boss fights with with this kind of combat system, so maybe that's about as best as we're gonna get. All right, are we leaving now? Is there profiling to do? Okay, case closed. I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it. How do I DM you the page for Pseudo Regalia Twitter? Just DM me on Discord. If you're not on Discord, then um, then I'll try and remember. You don't have to join Discord just for that. I need to get Clicker to wake, but I still have questions. Those old guys, Tor and Odin, seemed friendly with the cult. How are they connected to us? No, join my Discord. DM me. Watch all the streams. Go watch the videos. Like and subscribe. Yes. Yes. Uh, cult of the Tree. Oh, shit. Uh, cultist room hidden beneath uh, Ilmo's motorcycle club. Who's involved? <laughs> the story. Parade float. Light in, light in the dark presence? No, that's not going to be it. How to enter? For later. Okay. And we have cult stashes, nursery rhymes, and Alex Casey lunch boxes. Those aren't really that important. We'll do them another time when we're doing some side stuff, maybe. All right. So that's the end of the chapter. Hmm. Television. Can you read a file with Cookie Monster? Am I the only streamer on the platform that has horrible impressions that chat keeps wanting the streamer to do over and over again? Most of the time when the streamer has, like, chat wants an impression, it's a good impression. Jerma has a bunch too. Jerma's probably good at impressions, isn't he? Ghost basketball? 
All right, where are we going? Where are we dropping? We're going out the exit, and we're going... Oh, we, we missed some shit in my trailer. Cult stash as well. How do we get to that one? Uh, also, we got a screwdriver. We didn't find the key for that one. Where the fuck is the key? And a cult stash over there? Whoa, what the fuck? Uh, okay, the stuff in the in my trailer seems important. So we're gonna go turn left a little bit, go straight, and then down here. Let's do that. Can you do an impression of Grey Leno, the evil alien twin of Jay Leno? Jay Leno is, is the alien evil twin, is he not? Come on, Casey. No answer. David. Huh. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has the horror story already gotten her? We should know. Don't forget to use the janitor's bucket in the janitor's break room to alternate between characters. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Alan and, and uh, Saga's stories can be played in whatever order you choose. And I choose Rapture. Did we go up there? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's not I intentional. I should look around. So the water was hiding. There's no way this is intentional, right? Maybe with the other ones it is. That's a huge break in the reload time. I don't think we went up here. Someone keeps asking, Have you bought the outfit that turns CNMN into Corsica Best Boy? I have no idea what you're cooking, Cheddar. I, I, Corsica was from... Uh, oh, Hi-Fi Rush. Right? I, but I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. The speed up is so massive, it really is. Yeah, did, we didn't go up here last time, did we? Where does this go? Oh, there's a whole fucking side area with the watery lighthouse and shit. Okay, I don't, I don't want to do this. I want to, uh, I'll come back and do this maybe at the beginning of the stream tomorrow. As a warm up. I want to go back and see if Casey still exists. The game Pseudo Regalia is a platform where you play as a furry enemy girl. Go, if you want me to describe how furry ba bait it is, you have to toggle for pants and Cindy has drawn her tent up. Oh, I'm the one who brought that game first on stream a couple weeks back. I know that that game, yeah. Why would you think that's what am I, the game I would like? Gameplay looks pretty good, but you know. If I remember correctly, there, there was a, a Steam review that said you did not have to give her a whole bakery respect. This feels like a cheat. Missing. Missing. You're just gonna abuse it now? Well, I'm losing all of my crossbow bolts, so why not? The problem is, is that it makes gameplay more fun. And I don't mean from a perspective of, oh, the game's easier, is more fun. I mean, I like the little timing of like, oh, is I long enough into the reload now? Hit the button, let's go. But maybe I won't do it for the crossbow. Because it seems like the drawback of the crossbow is the long uh, reload time. I feel like you were dodging while reloading in past streams and reload wasn't going through. Um, we didn't have the crossbow back then, so maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't long enough into it. I don't know. Hmm. You're probably right, actually. Where was this wolf? We're out of bolts.
Okay, so what did we miss in here? Two points of interest. It's darker now, that's cool. And they were in this room, were they not? Shit. Yes. Uh. Okay. Night Spring is new season coming soon. To Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. We need a little bit of that right now. Your proud granddad and great grand uncle. Hmm. Alright, is that all of them? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Should we try and see if we can get this cult stash? Alright then, I guess we need to be friends with the cult and then we'll do it. Oh, this was flooded before, right? So the water went down. Did the water go down in the park too? Did the water go down up here? Oh, it did. We can go to the ranger cabin now. Alright, there's lots of side areas that just open. Okay, I don't want to, I, I'm a little tired of this area. I don't want to keep staying here. So I want to, I want to leave. So up north, down to the right, back to the car. Alright, let's do that. Final Fantasy 16 or Death Stranding? Uh, for what? For gameplay, Final Fantasy 16 has pretty good gameplay. Uh, great spectacle too. For story and just overall kind of vibes, definitely Death Stranding. As a stream, I don't know what was more entertaining. Death Stranding is a more reflective experience. I'm surprised that the stream went so well, actually, because I feel like it's a game that's best played on your own. Ironically, with the with the help of strangers as you play it. But then again, we made our waifu for that. Is Alan Wake 1 worth playing? Uh, this may sound a little, uh... <laughs> Maybe this is gonna sound wild coming from me, but I think because this game's so good so far that I think it might be, yeah. Just so you have full context playing this, this game. Got fixed quick. Oh, nice. How long will we be going today? Um, possibly another hour. We'll see how it goes. I would like to switch between Saga then Alan, Saga then Alan. Oh, things have changed. Oh dear, hello. I don't think everything's okay in Coffee World. Have you noticed? I'm getting this like off feeling every night after work. What? Are you having nightmares again? Like when you were a kid? Do you need your security blanket? Wait, that Can place is still open? You keep Blanky out of this. Quite the show that Artsy fella put on today, eh? I loved it. I had half a mind to come down and start dancing. Oh, why didn't you? You've got to grab life's gifts while you can. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Yoga? Drugs? Looking for who asked?
drug yoga. Aw, oh, dude. Cauldron Lake, Bright Falls. Let's go back to Bright Falls and see if something happens. I have a feeling something big is going to happen when we go back to town. I have never been more wrong. Don't be so serious. That looks so good. Alan Wake. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, Do we play as Max for a bit? I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <clears throat> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the... Rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. A manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. Can I pause it during these? I can. All right. Anyone else agree? Saga feels more real than Alan to me. Is it an acting issue? Is it? Is it because Alan was in the first game and the first game wasn't to the standard, so it's coming over from Alan's, uh, from that game here? I don't know. Saga feels more real to me. Is it paradoxically because I don't think Saga's been in the live action, so I, I'm, she feels like a more real video game character to me? I don't know. Oh, would that track? I don't know, huh? Hmm. Seems like uh, there are enough people in chat that uh, that are agreeing that I'm not alone. That's good. All right. Real video game character? Yeah, I know how it sounds, but yeah. Normal video game character. Hmm, okay. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! <laughs> we want the rider. No one else needs to get hurt. Fuck off. Shit. Hey, what are you doing?
turn four, no chance. Wait, what? Alan? Play as Alan now? Because we're in a, a saga chapter. I had escaped the dark place. Why? So with the dark presence. Scratch. He was here in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? Okay, so is this are there parts where you have to play the other character here. no matter what? Or are there certain chapters that force you into it? What if I hadn't done the earlier Alan chapter before this? Hmm. Okay. I'm curious to know. I'm going to guess that this is still on Saga Story. And there are some parts where you play Alan on Saga Story. And some parts where you play Saga on Alan Story maybe. Or maybe this only goes one way. Where would all this blood come from? The name Scratch really throws me off after Ball's Gate 3. This was first! This was first! Whoa. Holy shit, Casey. Wish I could have seen the bullet time. Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. This is really going to throw a wrench in Deerfest. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. I don't know why that impresses me. That looks so good. I don't know. That might just be baked into the environment. It just looks good. That might not be... Uh race trace I need to protect myself I got a flashlight how to stealth check miss oh no I did the wrong thing oh no now what ah so the last one comes back oh or is it just for this sequence whoa the frame rate holy crap all right might have to turn ray tracing down Oh, it's only when I need it, though. Oh, shit. Are you considering upgrading your PC in the near future? Uh, probably not, no. I'll probably wait for one, maybe two more uh, graphic card cycle, graphics card cycles before I do that. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? 
breathe the dark presence, not discriminate. Okay, we don't have anything. down to single digits there. Holy shit. All right, maybe melee doesn't work. Can you enter the mine palace right now or not? Hold on, I'll see. What should we should we turn transparency off right now or what? How is this taking so long? How long does it take on a hard drive? Can you even install this game on a hard drive? Is that even allowed? Does it have to be an SSD? This is with an SSD. Like what the That's Casey. He was still alive. Now we're gonna do what's called a pro gamer move to get a full battery back before we have to use it, and then boom, now we have three charges instead of one. Shit. Now we have three charges instead of one. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? How are you not dead? Why are you not dead? You should be dead. Die, please. How are you still not dead, sir? These were the cultists the FBI were after. All right, Casey, I'm bringing friends. Off. Scratch was further away. Oh fuck! Okay, I have to turn it down. It's like so much. It's getting worse as it goes on. All right, what do we want? To, what do we want to turn off? Transparency? Just let's just turn ray tracing off for this whole entire segment. Cause oh my god. I can think again, Casey. Casey, I'm coming. Federal Bureau of Control. We'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. Wait. This is my case. Really? This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. What? This is bullshit. Noted. Well, well, well. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Meanwhile, Casey on the walkie. <laughs> Saga, she can hear you. Oh shit! Hold on one second. <laughs> Nothing comes to mind. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> then your work here is done. Hey, you did well. Wait, my partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it. Agent. I should be... Go home. Careful, moving weight. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. So... I'm not done here. He votes not for who? Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Oh. That was a short chapter. Continue. Tor and Odin were in the photo. So a little li, li, a crumb of criticism, because I know I don't want to criticize the game too much because child just jumped down my throat. A crumb of criticism. I think in those music transitions when you hit the space bar, it should take three seconds to fade out instead of just being bar done. I think just you know I think those three seconds are worth it. I think that's what they should do. Instead of just being so abrupt about it. Thank you, uh Sphixes or Spikesix for the reset. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, and I said thank you to QZ. Yes, I did. Yeah. Chatter, what are your thoughts on Alan Wake 2 so far? What was the answer? With a the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Valhalla Nursing Home. All right. When we switch to Alan now, though, are we going to be in FPC, uh, FBC? I'm really surprised the FBC showed up. I was not expecting that. Ahoy, hoy. Hello. Saga. It's Tor. Your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, you fucking hag. Fuck. Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Hmm. Okay. Game has really got me in. I'm, I want to continue this part of the story and the other part of the story. There's no, oh, I just want to get through these parts to get back to the Allen part, or get through the Allen parts to get back to the Saga part. That's that's uh, pretty rare in even some some books. You uh, you know where the good writing happens. Get to a chapter and it's like, oh god damn it, it's it's the Matt chapter. Fuck. Oh, we should have saved these and we could have looted them. Casey's a monster, huh? He killed so many. I wonder if he can do the Max Payne shit. Wow, it's still dipping even with ray tracing off. So this, this somehow is the most demanding part of the game so far. This area here. Why? All the trees? The light coming down from the side instead of up top, maybe? Hmm. The forest is heavy. Mom's spaghetti. Is it heavier than the last forest? Favorite Looney Tunes character? Mm, I don't think I have a favorite Looney Tunes character, sorry. Oh, they cleaned up the bodies already. That was fast. Lily, who is your favorite Looney Tunes character? Honey Fox. 
Bugs, who's your favorite on Sesame Street? Um, okay, does it have to be one or could it be like... I really like Bert with Ernie. Bert. But not separately. They have to be together to banter. Okay, I, I, I will accept that. I will accept that, sure, yeah. I love when they're together and he, like, he's always annoying me. Or he's always annoying Bert. Good answer. Thank you for the tea. Oh. FBI. Oh, so this was one of our rooms, but oh, this this is our room, uh, but the uh, the other places we were doing all the work. All right, so we uh, took a fair chunk of this hotel. I have to clear- what's going on? This isn't just a weird NPC that we can find in an idle stand so you're not supposed to pay much attention to it. This- this is intentional, like... She gets increasingly more mad. It doesn't budge. Hello? Which reality? So when we play as Alan, are we in a different timeline? But when we play as Saga, it's after it happens. So when we're when we're Alan and we see Saga, is that the Saga that her daughter died? Or are we the Saga that the daughter? Oh, what's going on? That's weird. Switch reality. That seems like it might be a clue. All right, either way, let's switch and see what happens. Where's Alan? Mystery Alan. He's gonna be FBC, right? We're not gonna be back at the table where we were before. Are we in the dark place? What? <laughs> oh, okay, so we're just here. Whoa. Um, alright, you know what? I kind of getting the impression that maybe the game needs to be restarted. And we're at 635, we've been live for 5 hours and 20 minutes, maybe we want to stop stop and just continue tomorrow. Because I feel like it's going to have to be restarted, and I don't know if, how much longer we, we want to go. Come on. What do you mean? Come, come on. Come on. Start off tomorrow with some nice Alan. 24 hour stream. Try reload canceling the revolver. Sure, we can try that before we go. Alright, is that faster? Once one bullet's in, it's fine. How long does the reload usually last for? Is it just one? Hold on, does he put all six back in? 
Dude, what? Yeah, it's not faster at all, I don't think. He ejects six and then puts one in. It's a dream! It's a dream! It's a grab! I hate grabs. In one of the notes in control, they even consider making Alan FBC director due to his powers. He's so strong. He's so strong. Once we finish Alan Wake, is it over for streams for a bit? Or we do something else after? We might do Slay the Princess. For Is that one stream game? I think it probably will be. We might. But uh, apart from that, no. Nothing else. No more on break. I, I completed the game, but I don't remember being here. Maybe you just kept on trucking with the Alan part after. This is after right after the musical. Is Adi still there? Oh. <gasps> Whoa, yeah, it definitely needs to be restarted. Or my computer's dying. Will you be streaming the Game Awards? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, that's it for me, everybody. I will see you tomorrow for more Alan Wake 2. Uh, I think this game probably has at least three more streams, the pace that we're going, um, if it's about as long as the first game. We'll see. I feel like we're going... Uh, I feel like it's longer than the first game, actually, but I feel like uh, we're going through it fairly slowly. There's more to explore and look around. So, yeah, that's it. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Can't wait for Final Fantasy to win Game of the Year so Joe deletes everything and we'll never get the video. Oh, that's a good, that's a good at way out. Oh, damn. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make an account on the Game Award website now to make sure that happens. I think that's a good idea.